yes 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 we are on the live watch along yeah man watching some jpl third and fourth place playoff barrington price of tivoli gardens he has just been um red carded second yellow card free kick for mount pleasant um around 23 yards out yeah he elbowed um the mount pleasant player Kemar Bushy Beckford, who, who has been taken off on a stretcher. So Tivoli captain out. Uh, what is happening is this is delaying the start of the finals. And so we, we're anticipating that to start as soon as this is finished. First time we're doing a watch along to a JPL game, and we have chosen the final to do so. So welcome to I Am Sure Sports and Manning's Man. Yeah, man. Um, substitution for Mount Pleasant, Devante Hodges replacing Kemar Beckford. If you don't know Devante Hodges, he's the son of, De you know what, Devon Hodges used to play for Mount Pleasant, played for Rivoli. Um, yeah, also played in v the Vietnamese League, had a couple of calls call up for the Jamaica national team as well. He has just replaced um, Kemar Bushy Beckford, but free kick for Mount Pleasant, um, around 25 yards out. Um, look taken by Kevin Isaacs. Oh, brilliant save that time by the goalkeeper. Brilliant free kick, brilliant save. Uh, ball still in play with Hodges. Uh, losing it though, and um, Kemar Fleming clears it to Jeremy and Johnson. Johnson um, in in control. Uh, you know, going this one alone, taking on a couple of players. Uh, Johnson with that opportunity, brilliant recovery that time by the young Sadir from Mount Pleasant, winning that one. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh God, you said that. Fresh God saying that. Yeah. His father was big bodied, you know. Um, Devon Hodges. Yeah. Good, good recovery tackle there by Asani Ricketts um, from Mount Pleasant, preventing Jeremy and Johnson from possibly, you know, hitting that one into the back of the net. PK, you're behind. Yeah, you got to penalty. We're behind, man. That's why I don't like these watch alongs, you know, Fresh God, because I don't know. It looked like, like, I don't know. It seemed like the, the, the internet thing kind of. I don't know how it works, but yeah, it is. There you go, fresh God. That's why I don't like to do commentary, you know, because commentary puts you way behind uh, in terms of your timing and the gear. Yeah, so fresh God, who, who are you who are you picking to win the finals? Who are you picking to win the finals? Cavaliers. Yeah, it is slow on the TV indeed. Um, let me see if it's ahead on CVM because I am on sports map. Let me see if CVM is any better. Yeah, um, yeah, it, so it has been blown off on CVM. So CVM seems to be ahead of the of, of sports maps in terms of the coverage. So maybe, maybe I need to stick to maybe I need to stick to CVM. Yeah, man. Ryan LFC, bless up, bro. Have to help me with this who go and help me with this watch along you know because a lot of activity at home today so we you know <laughs> oh fresh got picking cavaliers ryan what you doing man ryan lfc bless up bless up bless up big game tomorrow for liverpool as you all know, man, Arsenal were held by Brighton. Um, you know, Manchester United held by Everton. Yep. So this third and fourth place playoff is going to be going into, into penalties. And so, yeah, see if I can get a couple of my friends. See if I can get a couple of my friends to join me on this watch along never done this before you know so yeah if you if you're available and you want to join me you know as as one of the panelists on the watch along i'd love to have you on yeah man so i'm going to send out the link listen jpl we're focusing on today jpl for real jpl we're focusing on today so if you're ready and available you can jump on when the final starts and we will discuss the game um i think i am ahead now 
um, in terms of timing, right? Right, Fresh God? Um, it has gone into penalties, so I think I am ahead. But so, first game gone into penalties, 1 1. Didn't see any of the goals because I started this because it was original for the finals. Um, so it's 1 1 between Tivoli Gardens and and Mount Pleasant in the third and fourth place playoff. Um, I'm going to get who the goal scorers are for you and let you know that. Yeah, I need to. I'm going to get who the goal scorer is for Mount Pleasant and who the goal scorer is for Tivoli Gardens, so you can know different different background um, today because I have to make sure that I'm somewhere where I can get a clear picture of the TV. People, you see it? It's not the big. It's not the big buck TV I'm using. <laughs> not the big buck TV. You understand me? Oh, Reed, Devante, Campbell, and Trayvon Reed, two of the youngsters. So Trayvon Reed scored for Tivoli. Thank you, Fresh God. And Devante Campbell scored for Mount Pleasant. There you go. So Mount Pleasant took the lead. Tivoli equalized. Uh, uh, Devante Campbell scored in the 27th minute. And Trayvon Reed scored in, in it looks to be, the 47th minute. Yeah, so 1-1 one, one scoreline at the end of full time and extra time. And we are headed into, into penalties. Nicholas Clark will be in goal for um, Tivoli Gardens and Shavon Sean Paul will be in goal for Mount Pleasant. So let's see how this is going to this is going to play out. I see Jordan Fletcher there. Well, you know that Tivoli is down to 10 men. So let's hope that you know they don't go down to 10 penalties. Okay. So Fresh God is ahead of me. You understand me? Um, they see that number 23, Ricardo Guiena, one of those youngsters I used to work with, you know. Good to see him playing. Didn't get a lot of playing time this season, but good to see him playing in this third and fourth place. Call him Big 13, played for Ochoa side. Oh, there you go. So the first penalty was taken by Jordan Fletcher. He kicks, he scores. So Mount Pleasant, Mount Pleasant up and running. Yeah. So Ryan, I'm gonna let after let Ryan watch a game, you know. Ryan LFC, bam! Watch the game, Ryan LFC. Watch the game, Ryan LFC. We are the people who love Jamaican football. So Fletcher, number eight, Mount Pleasant leading goal scorer this season, steps up, fires it to the left of the goalkeeper. Beautiful penalty into the back of the net. Beautiful kick. Goalkeeper had no chance. That's the way penalty is supposed to be taken. With power and a lot of accuracy. Rifling that one, you'd say. Ball ricocheting out of the net like, like a tennis ball hitting a tennis court. Well done, Jordan Fletcher. The man who should have taken the penalty in the semi final. Jeremy and Johnson comes forward to kick for Tivoli Garden. And Johnson also goes to the goalkeeper, to the left of the goalkeeper. Easily, the experienced player he is. You're wondering why he didn't kick that penalty in the semifinals. Beating Shevan Sean Paul um, to his left, 1-1. Um, one, one. And Sule Makala is coming forward to kick for Mount Pleasant. Very, very interesting. Well done, Jeremy and Johnson. So far, you go to the goalkeeper's left. 
you seem to score. So Makala walks up, spots the ball, takes a few steps back. He's the captain of this Mount Pleasant team. Makala kicks. Oh my word! Beautiful penalty. Had the keeper going in the wrong direction. Wonderful, wonderful. Good penalty that time by Sule Makala. It is. So you had Jermaine and Jordan. You have Sule Makala and you have now McQueen coming up for Tivoli Gardens. Second penalty for Tivoli. Very interesting penalty shootout here. McQueen, a former player at St. Andrew Technical High School in that team with J.D. White. Here he is. McQueen steps back, looking very confident. Had had several shootouts shoot with, with, with St. Andrew Technical High School. Comes forward. Oh, gets the keeper going in the wrong direction to the keeper's left again. And he scores 2-2. Two -two. It is. Wonderful. Good penalty so far. I think the keepers have not had an opportunity to save any of these penalties. But the more penalties are taken, the more the pressure increases. We see Kevin Isaac represents the national team. A lot is on his shoulders, right? Number 15 for Mount Pleasant, Kevin Isaac. The man they call Ugly. Goes by the name Ugly, formerly of Humble Lions, transferred under the Donovan Duke regime to Mount Pleasant, and he has stayed on. You know, declined the opportunity to play in the Canadian League, to play for Mount Pleasant in the JPL. Here is uh, Isaac, comes up. Kicks. Oh, straight down the middle. What was the goalkeeper doing? If he stood his ground, that would have just ricocheted off his insteps. He went right down the middle. It, it is as if the goalkeeper was running out of the way. Oh, my word. So Kevin Isaac score. Trayvon Reed. Uh, this is a nephew of Roderick Reed. Of, uh, formerly of Kingston College. He's one of those youngsters that I've been very, very impressed with i think there's a place for him in 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 in, in jamaica's national football down the road if he could be if this talent could be harnessed very good thing so trayvon read it is to 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 kick for tivoli gardens outside of the 18 very very long runs up run up and here he is you know doing the bruno fernandez hop skip and jump Taking his time, trackling in, kicks. Oh, send the keeper in the wrong direction. Great penalty. And he scores. Oh, my word. So Reed scores. So one goal keeper, one, one goal scorer. Uh, Reed kicks and he scores. I, I see Mount Pleasant here putting in one of their youngsters. I don't like this. Putting a, 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 a 16 year role in a pressure position. He already scored putting him to kick a penalty. Don't think this is a good idea. So Devante Campbell, the goal scorer, comes up. It is his opportunity now. What will happen? I would not have given Campbell a penalty. That's just me. He's a youngster, 16-year-old, pressure situation. He's not supposed to kick. Campbell comes up, kicks. Oh, he hits the post. It goes, oh, my Lord. This is going to be a blow to this youngster's confidence. No way the coaching staff should have put him in this position. Bad decision by the Mount Pleasant management and coaching staff, I believe. See, the older players come in to console him. No way. No way you put a youngster in such position. Wellington comes up to kick for Tivoli Gardens. Wadrico Wellington. Senior pro, put on a lot of weight. Oh, I don't know what this, what is this keeper doing? He kicks and he scores. He kicks and he scores. Shevon Champal seemed to have been sleeping in the goal. 
He followed the ball and just decided that he wasn't going to go down on the ground. All right. Omar is saying that this gives me nothing. True, true. We're just giving them a hard time. <laughs> oh, Rankin. Oh, Rankin is not a penalty kicker. It's a former manager's player. He tried to get into the Stets team, but was unsuccessful. Was at Sandals, was at Reno, was at Cavaliers. Um, no, he's at Mount Pleasant. Not a penalty kicker. I, I, I could see this one going um, up to the dormitories. Uh, Rankin, standing over this. And he comes up. Kicks. Oh, save. But the goalkeeper was off his line. This penalty should be taken over. This penalty should be taken over. But we don't have, we don't have VAR, so it's not going to happen. See, both feet were off the line. It should be taken over. Um, but what? The game is done. Ah, it is over before it started. And the Mount Pleasant players are laughing. As if this means nothing to them. So this was a nothing game. The console in the little seven year, 17 year old Devante Campbell. Nothing game. They're laughing. If I were the management, I giving them no pay. <laughs> no pay. So Tivoli Gardens finishes in third position. And Mount Pleasant finishes in fourth position. Yeah. So, Well, the big one is about to begin. To make the nine minutes away from start time, which would be three o'clock for the big finals. Waterhouse versus Cavaliers. I think this is going to be a high scoring game. Um, I think it's going to end 3-2 in extra time. Um, yeah, what are your thoughts? What are your pick? I know Fresh God believes that Cavaliers is going to win on penalty. Um, yeah, Omar Anderson, what is your pick? Who, who, who are you picking to win this game? Let me know what your picks are, people. We're watching, just punching who you think is going to win this game, right? Um, but there you go, third and fourth place, um, playoff game, won easily by Tivoli Gardens on penalties. Mount Pleasant missing two penalties. Uh, Devontae Campbell missing and Leonardo Rankin missing. And Tivoli converted their first four penalties. Trayvon Reed, Jeremy and Johnson uh, 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 scored. McQueen scored. And Ronico Wellington also scored. Uh, it's Barcelona down two. Uh, I see uh, Lynch mob, Cavaliers for, for the win. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I, 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 I am sure that this is going to be 2-2 at the end of 90 minutes. And then when it gets to additional time, I'll give you my pick then. But I am sure that at full time, at the end of 90 minutes, this is going to be a 2-2 score line. This is how the game was um, in the regular season. Uh, Damian Bean scored two for Waterhouse and Young Duane Busy Atkinson scored two for Cavaliers. He could have scored three, could have had a hat trick. He was free on goal and he hit the post. And so 2-2, two -two, I believe it's going to be. I think it's going to be a free-flowing open game with a lot of um, passing of the ball. These teams are very good ball-possessing teams. 
they have good pace going up front. I think the best defense of them both is the is the Cavaliers defense. They have Jaden White in goal. I mean, I don't know the starting level, but from what I've been seeing, I'm going to give it a starting eleven. They have Jaden White in goal. Normally, Jamai Topi has been playing well, and um, King has been Richard King, who was recently called to the national team, has been playing well, and Lang has been playing well, and Ming has been playing well. They have a very solid, solid defense. But don't underestimate this Waterhouse team. It's a well-coached team, coached by Marcel Gale, who works out there at St. George's College. So let me put up some of the predictions here. Um, that's La Liga, Barcelona down two. Um, Cavaliers for the win, says Lynch Mob. Um, I am with Cavaliers, says Omar. All right. Uh, here, somebody predicting that Busy is going to score. We will see. All right. Um, only on Sportsmax. No, you can watch the game also on CVM. If you don't have Sportsmax, you can also watch the game on CVM. And if you're outside of Jamaica, um, if you're outside of Jamaica, I probably can help you to watch the game. Right? Um, so if you're outside of Jamaica, I think I can help you. So you can watch and talk at the same time. Yeah. So Cavaliers wins two. All right, Clysevit. All right. Boys, a lot of Cavaliers. Um, Balakar Mount Pleasant lost their game. They lost on penalties to yeah, you know that Tivoli won on penalties. They gave Devante Campbell a penalty to kick. Um but but um like like Omar was saying it's a nothing game and fresh got say so it didn't matter he missed and ranking also missed a penalty so that's how that game ended Trayvon Reed had equalized for Tivoli Garden Devante Campbell yeah had had um had given Mount Pleasant the lead yeah yeah so let's let's see how this is going to go you will see the likes of Shaquille Bradford look out for him Andre Fletcher look out for him um kimani campbell some of these youngsters are playing some good football this season look out for them yeah so you have Shanil thompson doing busy atkins colin anderson the former cavaliers man ronaldo webster not sure if he will be playing um in this game because he has been um nursing an injury so we will see Colin Campbell, some of you know, is a former Calabar sprinter turned footballer. Um, that that four by one team with with um, Christopher Taylor, um, Tyreek Wilson, and those guys. He was a part of it. Um, very speedy. He got the winner for them um, in 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 their semi final. If you have CVM people, remember. Okay, I agree. I agree. The J, it's not the J, well, Clive Smith. It's not really. It is a JPL. I know that next season, if 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 there's a way for me to connect with your Clive Smith, I could help you. Um, to see, so so maybe I could help you to to watch the game. It's on CVM Balakar. Say so we have brethren. If you don't have CVM, <clears throat> it, but it yeah man, um, what you mean that? Balakar, fire stick. You can load CVM and fire stick, man. I am sure you can have it on it. Um, even if you have fire stick, man, you know, just uh, Balakar, let me help you, right? You may have a fire stick. Disconnect the fire stick for the game, man, and get your pole, man, and connect, man, and make somebody go up on the house top and thing. And them things they were used to the back in the days, you know, and turn the pole until you can see it. You understand? Turn the pole up there and thing. All right. Um, Omar Anderson, you have to go to I Am Sure Sports on Instagram, Jan Clive Simit, and, and connect me there. And let me see if I connect with me there. Let me see if I can help you. So, Clive Simit, um, let me see if I can help you watch the game. Omar Anderson, just go to I Am Sure Sports on Instagram and just send me a message that that is you. And then I will I will help you with a link. Yeah. Balakar, so just if, if you cannot find TV on your fire stick, just for this game, disconnect the fire stick. Get your local pole or put a local wire in there, bam, 
and just find 112. I think that is CVM channel 112. Reggie, what I'm going like, to do? Listen, I don't like what I'm going like, to do. I saw the football used to go back in the days, you know. Back in the days, what, what used to happen with, 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 with TVs that we used to put the pole out there, brother, upon some tall bamboo or stick and spin it. One man out there, spin the spin the bamboo and we say yeah yeah that leave it right there so leave it right there so yeah yeah man all right um lynch mob tell me if you get through you know so let me see so Clyde Smith if you're interested in watching the game like I said link me um somebody here somebody saying that link to the game is above Link to the game is, is above. Just create a free account. Link to the game is above. Where's the link to the game? Somebody send the link to the game is above. I, I don't know. I mean, Jordan, you have to explain that, you know. All right, so bang. All right. Soon start, like I said, it, it looks like it's going to be uh the start is delayed because the other game went to extra time. So let's yeah man. All right. All right, there we go. All right, so bum, let's work with this right now. Where is it now? Let me see if we can if we can help. That's what we do, you know. We're here to help each other. You understand me? So let's see how we can make this work. See how we can make this work. Where are we now? Yep, yep, yep. Where is he now? Left. L -E -V. All right, so, so Omar Anderson, just tell me if you get that, all right? Just send something to to help you. Oh, Jordan say he just sent a link where you can watch the game ball a car. But I'm not seeing that, Jordan. Where is the link? You have to resend the link. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it, Jordan. Yeah, much about to start. Hey, listen, Fresh God is about is ahead of us, you know. Nice, nice. Respect that Clive Smith, man. That is how it works. People, I don't know what Fresh God have done here, but Fresh God is ahead of us, you know, so we're going to be a little bit delayed. You understand me? <laughs> but he's ahead of us. Yeah. Much time. National anthem being played. Yes. I'm going to give it a start in 11 people. Maybe you're not familiar with the players. Kyle Ming is the captain for Cavaliers, as you know. He wears number 15, Nikolai Finlayson, former Reno Petersfield High School player. Um, he is the captain for the Waterhouse team. Yeah, one of the better officials is a um, my name O'Shane Nation. He's a, he is a head official for this game. One of the better officials, a Concacaf official. Ball a car, I don't know. Ball a car, boy, I mean, I know. I don't know in a ball a car. I try to help you in a ball a car, but I, mean, I don't know ball a car. Because everyone else watching it in a ball a car. You need to watch a game because you, you are one of those supporters of, of, of local football. So we have 
um, Nash in goal, Nikolai Finlayson, Kimani Campbell. Um, like this is a Waterhouse starting 11. We have um, Kimani, Kimani Campbell, Nikolai Finlayson, Nash is in goal. Look at the time now, CVM are giving me a problem. I'm telling you. All right, let me give it a Cavalier starting 11. Give it a Cavalier starting 11. You have Jaden White, Melvin Dr. the St. Lucian, Gadel Irwin, Dwayne Atkinson, Ronald Webster, Jamai Tope, Richard King, Javani Leng, Kyle Ming, Nicoche Murray, and Shanil Thomas. Yes, yeah, so um, it's good to see Webster back in the Cavaliers team. They have been missing him for a few games now, right? They have been missing Webster for a... Um, Yeah. All right. Don't blame me, people. I just get this. Somebody just somebody just sent us this, you know. So we're gonna see if we can help you. We're gonna see if we can help you with it. Cause don't know if it worked, but try it and let us know. You understand me? Because I want everybody to have an opportunity to watch the JPL so next season. Um it's on CVM, Lee Young. It's on CVM and um, and it's on Sportsmax. But for those of you who can, we just got that so that you can watch again right there. I don't know. You see me? But you can watch it on CVM or Sportsmax. So game is off. Cavaliers um, with the kickoff in position. Just starting it, knocking it at the back very confidently. As usual, King in control, um, playing a long ball into the Waterhouse half, uh, straight to the Waterhouse defender Campbell, who boots this one back upfield uh, to to Fletcher. It is who loses to to loses the ball to Ming, who tries to find Atkinson. Uh, here it is, Simpson in midfield, playing it back to Jamai Topi to Ming. Topi back to Ming. Good passing of the ball here by Cavaliers as usual. King now in control. King playing this one to Leng. Leng to, to Murray. Uh, back to King. King to Topi. Topi back inside to King. Just knock it in a, knocking it around, giving everyone a feel. Uh, Leng playing, playing this one upfield to Gadel Irwin, who plays it back to King. King. Uh, just the early stages here, uh, beautiful, just knocking around, not creating a threat. From my topi with a pass upfield this time. Oh, good pass, good passage of play. One time in and cleared by the Waterhouse defense. Uh, Fletcher turning on this one beautifully, playing it, finding uh, Shaquille Bradford. Bradford playing it to Rafik Thomas. Thomas in control, turning uh, at the top of the Cavaliers half. Uh, back here to Cap uh, Howell in midfield. Howell uh, playing it wide, finding... Uh, Campbell, it is uh, losing it, but winning it back here. Cutting inside. Finding Thomas. Thomas to Baines. Baines uh, shooting that one. Uh, loses it, though, to Atkinson, who plays it. To Topi. Topi playing this one long. Um, being chased here by... Webster, who loses out to Howell, one of the better CDMs in the league this season. I must admit, Beadle, former Excelsior High School player, in control, uh, plays this one forward to DeAndre Thomas. Name is uh, back to Beadle. Beadle to Wilson. Wilson played this one long, and it goes out of play. Goal kick to the Cavaliers team. So that link you can create an account and you can watch the game free. If that don't work, ball a car, you have to create an account, ball a car. If you create the account, you can watch the game free, ball a car. Other people are doing it, ball a car.
Cavaliers in possession again. Just knocking it around, knocking it around in your own half, coming into midfield. There you go. Uh, just playing it. You, you will, the, the Waterhouse team, they don't play a high press. They, they play a medium press. So you won't see them pressing the Cavaliers team when you're just playing the ball. You know, they are giving them those passes around there. And as soon as they come into midfield, um, they apply some pressure. Listen, people, when it, please just like the video. And the first time we do is a song for the likes out there. You understand me and share the video. Let other people know that we're doing a local football watch along. First in the history of Jamaica football, we're doing something like this. Ball knocked out of place here by Jamai Topi. Rudolph Speed, coach of Cavalier, sitting on the bench in, in a, a reggae boy's mask. I see. So there is some reggae boy's merchandise out there. There's a mask, a reggae boy's mask with the JFF um, logo on it as well. Doing busy Atkinson. Weak shot and goal. Uh, Cavaliers just winning that one. Um, easily. Here we go again. Waterhouse in possession. Beadle. Just playing around with this ball here. Good defending that time by, it looks to be Duxley. The St. Lucian. Has been a, a staple in the Cavaliers team. Fall there, uh, a curious tackle by Leng. Curious tackle and Andre Fletcher, former Dintil player. O'Shea Nation trying to stamp his authority in the game, giving some stern warnings to the players. People at, at halftime, I want you to tell me if you think local football is improving. Look at the amount of passes these teams are make it, making, how the teams are set up, and let me know. All right? Beautiful, beautiful ball here by Cavaliers on the attack. This is one of the better. Oh, Ming. Oh, oh, what a chance. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. What an opportunity created there by the Cavaliers team um Ming poor attempt to put the ball across the face of goal it goes out well he fouled uh Finlayson it is and it is a free kick for uh Waterhouse deep in their own of in fact it's inside the 18 yard box and I think right here Nikolai Finlayson that left side of the Waterhouse defense seemed to be a target area for Cavaliers What a house. Oh, easily taken by Jaden White. Uh, uh, Irwin with the ball coming down the, the left side, cuts it back inside. He's in the number 12, plays it to Doxley. Doxley finding Nicoche Murray. Murray in possession, plays it wide, finding Ming. Ming turns it back to Topi, Topi, to King. King finding Leng. Leng goes back to king king in control king goes out right to topi topi back to king king cutting inside beating one finding uh duxley duxley trying to play a chip pass but easily uh maneuvered by campbell campbell for waterhouse but giving this one away um taken here by by murray but duxley it is and the ball goes out of play it's a throw for Waterhouse. Uh, midway their own half on the left side. If you know the Captain Horace Borrell sent up by Yui, uh, you know, um, it's a side where the dormitories are. Here, uh, Waterhouse with the throw, throw into Bradford. Poor cut control by Bean, but he wins back position. Campbell cuts it back to Finlayson. Finlayson all the way across to Wilson in defense who controls. Wilson uh, playing this one long, looking for Thompson, trying to flick that one on. Contra taken by Rafiq Thomas and um, knocked out knocked out there by King for Cavaliers. And it is a throw for Waterhouse. The tension seems to be on Mr. Speed standing and, and, and looking in Wonderland. 
it's not a pit bull, it's a Rottweiler. Don't worry, it's, a, it, it's not a pit bull, it's a, it's a, it's a Rottweiler, man. not a pit bull, a Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, uh, what they say? They not seen any 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 sa salad and pile. Football has passed that now, man. We have to get past all of the piles and the salad and stuff, and 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 you know more passing is going on. Early yellow card here for Bins in the middle of the park. Um, I, 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 you can see the heavy strapping on Webster's um ties you know he has been out for a while looks like he he has recovered enough um every time he goes down i know the cavalier coaching staff will will have in their hearts in their mouths hoping that he will get back and get back up on his feet no man the league can be regressing um leo not because there is no pile and salad and those things man we can't say that man we can't say that the passing game is a whole lot better, man. That's the new way of the football right now. Uh, this poorly taken free kick by Doxley, the St. Lucian. It goes out uh, for a spot kick for the Waterhouse team. Early stages, just uh, in the 10th minute of the game, it's nil-nil between Waterhouse and Cavaliers in the final of the 2020-2021 JPL. Here is Beal, the former Excelsior player, cutting inside, playing to Thomas. Um, but easily won there by King, um, throwing for Waterhouse. Condition seems to be very good, you know, very cool conditions, ideal conditions for a game of this magnitude. Here is Thomas coming inside, dribbling, uh, just going across, uh, making forward progress now. Oh, player slipping right there at the vital and important moment. Here is Ming uh, losing it and back in position. Here is Webster. Oh, cutting past one. This could be a freak. Oh, uh, advantage plays. Here is doing busy Atkinson. Oh, playing it to Webster. Webster, wonderful pass out here to Cadell Irving. Irwin, can he put this one inside the box? He does. Oh, oh my word. Brilliant. Safe opportunity still exists. But cleared by the Waterhouse defense. Excellent opportunity created by Cavaliers. That time, I think they should have scored, but brilliant save by Nash in goal. It's still locked at nil-nil. Waterhouse in position, coming in field to uh, Rafiq Thomas, who has come deep to collect this one. Rafiq Thomas coming wide, where he finds Beadle. Beadle playing it back to Howell. Howell, who plays at CDM. Wonderful pass. Oh, finding Rafiq Thomas. Oh, brilliant play. What a shot and goal. Just going wide. You know, poor attempt that time. Poor attempt that time. But wonderful play by Cavalier, you know, just switching the point of attack. Irwin with a very good square inside, and I think Chanel Thomas should have done better. And then the opportunity lost. Uh, I don't think he's as clinical. I, I know this player from JC, he will score for you, but he misses um, too much before he scores one. But Waterhouse now in the... 12th minute. What a wonderful ball. This could be a problem for Cavaliers. Oh, brilliant save by J.D. White. So we see opportunities created at both ends of the field. Wow. Good game. Good game. Good game. This is what we want to see. Attacking football. Chances being created. Yeah, Neo, the stadium is empty because no, <laughs> no fans are allowed. <laughs> but normally, I can say this to you. Leo, if this were a, a thing there at the National Stadium or say Stadium East, it would be packed. This is Waterhouse. Waterhouse have one of the biggest fan bases in local football, even when they're playing bad. Even when they're playing bad. So I, I don't agree. When when certain teams play, man, I think that your stream is ahead. Yeah. Uh, here is Shaquille Bradford. This is good football. Wonderful defending. Wonderful defending by King. Now we know why Theodore Whitmore gave this youngster a call. Here is Ming. What about, oh, poor take that time by Shaquille. 
Shanil Thomas, man, his control let him down. That could have been an opening for Cavaliers here. Thomas, um, with the ball just you know cutting inside again, just easily going to pass his opponent here. He finds Bins, Bins goes wide, find Kimani Campbell, Kimani Campbell squaring this one, cleared by, by Ming, beautifully controlled by Dwayne Atkinson, or oh, trying to find Shaquille uh, Ron, Ron Webster, uh, ball ricocheting off Nikolai Finlayson throw for Waterhouse. We are in the 13th minute. It is Cavaliers nil, Waterhouse nil. <laughs> oh, uh, look like there's a, a problem here for Kyle Ming. He has been the best right back in the JPL this season. Oh, I am behind the stream. Um, Lee Young, I am at it is at 14 14 minute. Where are you at? Fresh God is fresh God is at half time, you know. Fresh God is probably at half time. So I am at the 14th minute. Um, Cavalier sound better. <laughs> yeah. Well, both teams playing well. Yeah. Yeah, man. But remember, Galaxy, this is true. You know, Galaxy's game used to be rampant. But a lot of those fans weren't Galaxy fans. When Reno went there, half of the people in the stadium were Reno fans still. Because though Galaxy was doing well enough. They had Hazard down there that was giving them a warm time in those times, you know. And 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 Galaxy never Galaxy never existed for long, man. Waterhouse, Arnett Garden, Mount Pleasant. These teams have huge fan bases, man. We have to be real, man. I don't know. Waterhouse, Arnett Garden, Mount Pleasant have three of the biggest fan bases in Jamaica's football. Biggest fan bases. I'm telling you. Hey, um, fresh guy, you can't bust the thing before me in the country. Here's Topi. People that I've been telling you, you know, that Topi is a good footballer. Jamai Topi is a very, uh, this guy, we need to find a way of getting him back into the national setup. I know he was out of football for a while. Oh, Ladia Irwin with the corner. Irwin kicks it. Oh, into the back of the net. Oh my word, poor goalkeeping that time. There's no way he should have tried to catch that one. He should have tried to just nip it over the bar. He tried to collect the ball. It went over him. Just an easy tap in. There was nothing like that 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 that, that Topi had to do except to just put his body in position and let the ball hit it. That happened into the back of the net. Cavaliers won. And Waterhouse nil. Poor goalkeeping. Poor goalkeeping. So many unmarked players in the defense cavaliers take the lead ah <laughs> uh, no man shut up anderson is on the bench but cavaliers lead it people there's a link if you have, if you want to watch the game there's a link posted by um in, in 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 the in the in the comment section you can check the link and you'll be able to watch the game all you have to do is just sign in or register oh here you go oh oh this guy webster is 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 a oh my word oh he's oh that must be a fall that must be a fall this guy webster This guy Webster is a is a problem player. Oh, Nikolai Finlayson! Oh my God, I don't believe this. This is his fourth finals with Waterhouse, and he gets a red card in the final. What? This is the Tivoli captain got a red card. No, the Waterhouse captain. How could you have this happen in the finals? In the finals, you're the captain of the team. You get a red card, stupid red card. You did foul the man. Look at this. On the player's feet, sitting on the guy's ankle. Oh, my God. Sitting on his ankle. The referee asked him to stand up. He's the captain. He's still sitting on the guy's ankle. Sitting on the guy's ankle. He's yellow carded. 
Still arguing with the referee. Oh my word. What 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 is this? This was a problem that they had with this player when he was at Reno. Look at this player. He's sitting on the player's ankle. The referee asked him to stand. He's the captain. Walk away. Even his teammates are calling. Referee sending him away. Still insist on arguing. Referee sending him away. Still insist on arguing. Gets a red card. Yellow card also for Webster for retaliating. I don't understand. These guys seem to forget that the game is not just played with the feet. It is played with the brain. So what else down to 10 men in the early stages of the game? Cavaliers up by one. One goal down, one man down. I could see this being a mauling. Atkinson jersey, former KC player. All right, all right, that's a problem. The KC network is strong. The score is Cavaliers 1, Mount uh, Cavaliers 1, and I don't think Webster is going to be able to continue after that tackle from Nikolai Finis. It is Cavaliers 1, Waterhouse nil, Waterhouse also down to, to 10 men. Yeah. No, it's not half time yet. Shut up. How far are you gone? I am at minute 21. Minute 21. It looks like there's a problem with also the Waterhouse goalkeeper. Oh, my Lord. Are they falling to... Uh, it, it, it. I'm telling you, that was a shambolic decision by Nikolai Finlayson. Shambolic. I cannot understand what he was doing. You're the captain of the team. You fall the man... The referee is asking you to leave the vicinity. You kept on arguing. Your teammates are calling for medical aid for the player who, who you found. Are you still arguing? What, what is wrong with our brain? Come on, I you know that I'm supposed to have this have this person on, 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 on the platform next week. I'm very sure that he's going to do. I am sure that he's going to duck out. People, you can watch the game on that link right there. All you have to do. All you have to do is to sign up and then it's free to sign up and you watch the game for free. All right, so you are 24 minutes, 24 minutes shut up. Yeah, all right. So the link is working, people. So try it, yeah. But listen, Lee Young, yeah, the game is being played at a so, so place. <laughs> <laughs> Bridget, we cannot all right i think sometimes when we watch football we compare we compare um local football to what we see in england is not every is not everybody i mean the, the pace is slow generally in jamaica at all levels at schoolboy level there's no fast the jamaica football has never been fast never been fast we just have fast players who play football but even the man never fast a kick and run business. But in terms of 
transition in play and ball movement. We have always been slow. Think about it how slow TFC and Warwick Moore was. Andy Williams. I mean, we have always played slow. But I think the pace has increased, though, man. Um, but this is going to be a mauling, I suspect. I think Cavaliers um, is going to win this game by around five goals to nil. That red card is going to seriously hamper Waterhouse. I think this is Nikolai Finlis in his interview said this is his last season. If he didn't plan on it being his last season after such display, it is going to be his last season. But good pa not passing of the ball by, by Cavaliers. I mean, I don't know how Waterhouse, they seem to have dropped into a 4-1 four, four, formation. Um, Cavaliers using a back three. I, I don't know how they are going to manage. They, they were struggling to possess the ball with 11 men. Now they have 10. It's going to be a problem. I like the way Busy Atkinson is playing deeper, coming and collecting the ball. All right, respect Lee Young. Don't, don't tell me the score. <laughs> don't tell me the score. Listen, at halftime, you need to tell me. You need to tell me some of the some of the players who you think who are standing who stand out on the field. No man. Lee Young, I think you don't know the players, man. What house now the old players? Beadle. These guys, Beadle around 16 year old or 17 year old. Um Kimani Campbell is very young. Watch on him. Oh, it's Kimani Campbell is young. Shaquille Bradford is young. Howell is young. Nash is young. Fletcher is young. Maybe you don't know the players, man. The, the, these are Nikolai Finnis is the oldest player in the Waterhouse team. And then Rafiq Thomas. And, and then, uh, yeah, Damian Bills is old. They are older team than, than um. They are older team. Than, than Cavaliers indeed. Oh, good ball. This inside the box. Look at look at Webster again. Webster. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, oh. Kick here for um, Waterhouse. Relieving the pressure. But I think this guy Webster is going to be a big one. He, he was at Stets. He was at Reno. He got transferred to Woolmers um, Boy School and then he moved from Woolmers. Well, completed Woolmers. Now he's at Cavaliers. What a beautiful. Oh, my word. Oh, that was offside. Listen, good uh, uh, one two pass in there by the Cavaliers team. Almost scoring a second goal, but it was offside. Would not have counted. Would not have counted. Clearly, uh, inches offside. Inches offside. It's still 1-1 one, one in the 26th minute. Long ball played up field. Easily won by Cavaliers. Yeah, is there a CDM in the house? All right. Well, one of the CDMs on... There's, there's really... One of the CDMs who is a better CDM is a St. Lucian. Who... His name is Doxley. Um, he, he plays for Cavaliers. And then Howell is a very good CDM. Um, somebody can remind me. Howell, Howell used to play for, I think, JC. I think he played at JC. Very, very good CDM. He went to college overseas. I think he's back here in Jamaica. Um, Howell, yeah. Howell is a very good... Somebody can remind me which school did Howell attend? Is it JC or, or is it KC? It's one of those C schools. <laughs> Either JC or KC. He and his brother, um, his brother just got um Kenroy Howell, his brother just got a contract to go overseas. Howell, Captain JC. This Howell. Yeah, I know that he went to JC. Are you saying? Somebody saying it is the wrong Howell that we're talking. You sure? Isn't that Ramon? Um, what is his name? Ramon Howell? 
that Captain JC displaying. I don't I don't remember his face, but I think so. There we go. One person saying that the league, the league has improved, man. The other guy, the, the, the other CDM for um is not really a CDM, it's more a box to box. Nico Shape Mori. He he has the best passing accuracy in the whole league. Nico Shea Murray. He has the best, but he's not a flashy player. You understand me? But in terms of he's the number six for Cavaliers. He has the best passing accuracy in the entire league. Um, from center back, center forward. He's the best passer um, in terms of accurate, uh, accuracy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this how well that plays for Waterhouse. Oh, oh, Mali Cowell played for JC, not Ramon Howell. Ah, oh. all right, let's check out. Let's see if we can find out which school Ramon Howell played for. Ramon, Ramon Howell. Oh, he's 26 year old. Yeah, man, played for Phoenix Rising, Nashville SC. Yeah. Played for the under 23 team. Um, Let's see if we can find out. Ramon Howell. we ball a car. Ball a car when you're watching the ball game. You can't talk. Ramon Howell High School. Which high school did he go to? Jamaica College. Of course he went to Jamaica College. Ramon Howell went to Jamaica College. Yes. Ramon Howell went to Jamaica College. Yep. Ramon Howell went to Jamaica College. So it is the 31st minute. It's still one to Cavaliers. Yeah. Yeah, man. Ramon Howell went to Jamaica College. Do you feel the JP will push and encourage more C C D M players? <laughs> I don't know. I don't listen. We where where I don't know that Tapa said that. Did Tapa say that? I don't think Tapa would say that. I don't think Tapa would say that. I know. I I I mean I'd have to see that though to hear him say that. I mean, teams have played without like a ball winning CDM. Like, you know, Barcelona, I think have done it, Spain. They have done it. They are not really ball winning, but those are teams that possess the ball. 
So when you're able to keep the ball for long periods of time, you don't necessarily need a ball winning because cent central midfielder are deemed because you keep the ball. But when you don't keep the ball, you're going to need somebody. When you play a long ball, you're going to need somebody who can tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Topi. This is Topi's. Um, so he played five. So there, after, after week six, he has been in Jamaica for a while. So what I understand is that Topi, there was a time when some filing for him was going on. So that is why he was not in Jamaica because of that whole paperwork thing. So he could not come to Jamaica. So once that was settled and his American green card or citizenship was sorted out, he came back to Jamaica, got fit, and after round six, he started playing. And honestly, he has been one of the better players in the JPL since his return. I am telling you, one of the better players since his return. Yeah, so is, is he not good to be making money in the USL? Yeah, yeah, so he wasn't playing any football because of all of that. Um, I think he had some mental struggles when he was thing there. You, you remember that he was taken out of that Gold Cup squad and not called back. And I think, you know, he's recovering from that. So let's see, because I think he's a good talent and shouldn't be in the jpl but boy i don't i don't like the usl yeah man but he, i think he needs to go somewhere in europe that's me still i would rather he go somewhere in europe the rain is coming here yeah, you see it in the hills shut up people the video the the, the 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 whole venue look good like it the game has gotten a little slow um in, and the quality you know, not as how it started. So, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, Malik Howell, Ramon Howell, and Kenroy Howell are all brothers. I, I know for sure that Ram, Ramon and Kenroy are brothers. I didn't know that Malik Howell is one of their brothers too because Malik Howell just left JC a couple of seasons. Whoa, that is interesting. Yeah, this guy named Leng is a, is a, is a good defender. I tell you, Cavaliers have a good defense. You know, they have one of the better defense. King, um, Topi, and Len. I agree with this person that said that he has had that belly. Yeah, he needs to work on that, you know, um, on his fitness. He needs to work on his fitness. People, please, like the video, like the video. We'll have some good discussion. Um, anybody want to come on at halftime, let me know so I can send you. You know a link so you can give me a thought you can give me a thought on the game or, or um and any or any player as you know waterhouse playing with 10 men nikolai finlayson the captain he has been red carded That's Melvin Doxley right there. Um, so we, we have we have several St. Lucians and Guyanese playing in the league. Doxley is one, and we have two out there at at Portmore. We have two at Portmore. We have a couple of Guyanese. We have a Trini. yeah um it, like i i one of the problem people you, you you know what my biggest challenge is with the football is sometimes like i think like what nikolai finlayson did it is poor a, a lot of these guys on the waterhouse team like i think how went to college um understand that he's very very smart very intelligent guy um they have chevron marsh um stewart chevron stewart who also went to college overseas 
So more and more the players are getting um, better education, which means that I think I think sometimes when you can play football and you're intelligent, it makes your game better. Right. So, but in terms of um, mental wise, this guy called Howell, like I said, he has been very steady. And he seemed to be a very, very smart player. Um, so he's someone that I think we can watch going ahead. 39th minute, still one a one the lead for Cavaliers goal scored by Jamai Topi. But Waterhouse seems to be coming in their own. You would not know that they are playing with 10 men. Sometimes, you know, adversity brings the best out of people. And uh, what we can see from this is that this Waterhouse team um, is working real hard. I heard um, Levon Trail from Sports Friends, they said, good teams play together. Great teams play for one another. This Waterhouse team is not playing together. They are just not playing together, but they are playing for one another. Yeah, Topi needs to, I think our coaches need to challenge these players to get fit you can't play in the jpl yeah that's why i don't support some of them getting national call-ups because i don't think they take the the physical fitness and conditioning as serious as they are supposed to there is no way a 20 year old supposed to be fat are you a soccer player no i i i i that i can agree with yeah yeah there you go Waterhouse keeper Nash. I think I think he also Andre Williams. I think he also went to Dean Till. Yeah. So that's good. So they are more, like I said, they are more smart players, I think, in the league now. There are a lot of guys in the league who I mean that they're, they're pursuing degrees or they have degrees. And you want to assume that if they if they are able to do well educationally, then they can think the game better. You listen to when some of them speak, this that they're very articulate in their communication yeah yeah man the pace is, is terrible man the, the, the game has slowed down i think what has happened cavaliers have like basically like they have won the game so i don't know if because of that because they are not looking like themselves and what else is just sitting but because they are down to 10 men and I think that has taken out a lot of the life out of the game. Let's see what is going to happen at the second half. All right, Richard. All right, so go to I Am Sure Sports on Instagram and hit me up there. And I will, yeah, man, I will drop the link. <laughs> hey, people, if you have a stream, right? If you have a YouTube channel and you're doing a stream, if you don't have shutter on it, your stream now say no. Look at the man says star. Look at my big old jersey. My big, big jersey. Just because he can't see which other team to play for, he might challenge a streak in my jersey. You can't, you can't, you can't pick up that. Eh? Oh, good ball here by cover. Good. Oh. This guy Ming, who plays right back for Cavaliers, he's also one I think for the future. Very good player. All right, Ricardo, it is going on on CVM. It's going on on Sportsmax, and if you scroll through the chat, there is also a link that we drop. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like some of these guys, um, at least one of the Waterhouse players and at least five players on Cavalier squad minimum can play schoolboy football. But I don't think they should go back and play. Oh, what a ball. This is Shaquille Thomas from Oh Farmer JC. I'm telling you about this player. This Shaquille Thomas. You remember JC, he cost JC a man in cup. He misses too much. 
So that is his second opportunity for the game. Look at Webster again. Very good pass. This should have been a goal. Just go across the goalkeeper. He went hard. He went high. And it's over the top. Under no pressure at all. So he's going to, if he gets an next chance, he's going to score because he scores one in three. One in three. He, from JC's days at JC, he has been missing. But I, I love the fact that so many young players are in it. Um, Clarendon, Clarendon College, the last title that they won, they had um, Ricardo King was the center back and the captain of that team with Omar Reed and those guys. <laughs> yeah, Fuzzy, yes, Fuzzy not thinking out the game. I think Waterhouse is waiting because what Waterhouse has done, they are not playing with one. Only Rafik is up front. Right. And you notice they never they never made a change. They never made a substitution. So they have just dropped back bins into 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 defense. Chanil, yeah, Chanil. Oh no, Earl Simpson and it was the Clarendon College. Oh no! All right, yeah. Earl Simpson was the captain, but he he and King were the centre backs. Both of them were the centre backs. Two very good centre backs. Earl Simpson at Arnett, and 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 Richard King from from Clarendon College. True. Earl Simpson was the captain. Yeah. All right, two minutes of time added on. For the conclusion of the first half of the JPL final. It is Waterhouse down by a goal to Cavaliers. Can Waterhouse find a game, find a goal? All right. Corner kick for Waterhouse in the closing stages here of the first half. I think this goal, this game needs a goal. I think it would be good if if Cavalier, if Waterhouse could score a goal, it would make it very interesting how Cavaliers would come out in the second half. Connor coming in, headed out by the Cavaliers defense shot coming back in. Uh, going wide. So it it is half time and it is Cavaliers leading Waterhouse by a goal to nil. Goal scored by Jamai Topi. Yeah, people half time. What are your thoughts? Yeah, good point, Richard. So it is. It is. Cavaliers won, Topi scoring in the 17 minute. Uh, Waterhouse down to 10 men, Nikolai Finlayson, red carded. And so we're going to discuss the, the game um, with a few of our, our guests who are also watching the game. We have Alex in his presidential chair. You understand? <laughs> yes. Alex, know, welcome. Man. Welcome, man. Yeah. I mean, I'm here. yeah, man. What are your thoughts on the game so far? I mean, the league has improved, man, and man. We can clearly see that the league has improved. But I'm, I'm very, I'm very impressed. With the Webster kid, though, he's very impressive to me, man, is man. And um, the kid Carling, I've been watching him from Camperdown last, 
the the, the last season that um Eddie plays at schoolboy football. But Alex, you can't be in Florida, your internet not working properly, no bro. You're supposed to have good internet over there in Florida, bro. Hey, you have to have good internet, bro. You're not, you have to you're not, you're not hear me. You're frozen, man. You're the foreigner, you know, brother. You need to pay your internet bill. No, you man. Get... No, man. My internet good, my man. Is man. Something wrong with your internet. Yeah, sure, no, my internet boss. Good. It's you freeze. No. No. We'll freeze with you. We still yeah, freeze. You... Not no. All right. Um, Richard and Unseen Sports. There's a link. If, if, if there's a link in the description, right? In the comment section that you can you can click on. It's on, also on CVM and on, on Sports Max. But there's a, a link in, in, in the chat that you can go on. Um, for you and Richard Stewart, but it is half time now. Um, so yeah, all right. So yeah, it's half time. But Alex, talk to me. What are your thoughts on the game? I mean, it's a good are forty-five speak- minutes. You're it's speaking good about minutes. good forty-five minutes. You were speaking about Webster. I think he's he has been one of the better players indeed in the league. Um, I think he needs to move. I think he needs to move too. I think Cavalier. They have a system. You can see the style of play. You can see their philosophy, and they can see. What they 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 art about? I think Cavalier has a structure in their in their, in their, their, their football team. You can see that from the grown who come up. Can there be a youngster playing in the team management? You can yeah. see that the they're average, knocking the ball about. They're knocking the ball about. Yeah, the average age is twenty four, so that's that's good, you know. I think I think they have I think they have a good game, but uh, I don't like um dirty players like Flanagan. That's why he named Flanagan. Finlayson. Finlayson, that's very dirty, bro. Like, you sit on the man's ankle. After you tackle the man, you sit on the ankle. Come yeah. on, that's very dirty. Those things don't get the league better, man. man. Those things are getting worse. I think, the ref- a- I, think, I think the referee has improved in the league to manage man. The referee yeah. has improved in the league because over time... Oh, my God. Shut up, you shut up, go again. I, I think the referee <laughs> has improved over gymnastically time, man. man. I think they improve a lot. So, uh, I mean, I'm very impressed with what's going on in the league. Uh, I'm very impressed with the style of play the players are playing. I, lo- I, lo- I, lo- I love what I'm seeing. Yeah. Yeah, man. I guess I'm a supporter. You're seeing Cavaliers, will, um, well, it's going to be hard for them to come back. Yeah. I, I Yeah, because Cavaliers also, you know, Cavaliers, Alex, have the best, one of the best defense in the league, you know. So it's going to be yeah. hard for Waters to score them. Yeah. But I'm going yeah. to say this, though. I am very impressed. I am very impressed with Waterhouse, coach. Because, listen, the, normally when you go down to 10 men, you lose a centre-back. The, the, the thing is to take off a forward. And, mm-hmm. and what he did, he adjusted his team. He put players in different position, And I think they are still... You understand me? They are still in the game. They're showing a, they're showing a fight. They definitely Yeah, and he's a good coach. He made a tactical adjustment to his team. On the field, it, it, again, if you look at the red card, the the Waterhouse player, Howell, who is a clean player, very intelligent player, is calling yeah. is calling the Cavaliers bench to come and check on the player. So if you are the captain of the team and you see your teammates calling the the opponent bench to come, you must walk away from the scene. You True. must know that you can't stay there and argue with the referee. But like I said, when Nikolai Finlayson was at Reno. One of the problems they had with him is that he got the most red card in the league playing for Reno because of these dirty players. And I think they need to be eradicated. And I'm glad that the referee took such strong actions, even though and it's a finals. And I think one thing the league needs to work on is players and their belly. The, 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 the topia and his belly, they, they, need, they need to fix that physically. This, and there's a soccer player that should be physically in condition and physically ready for, for anything. I think that's what the league should be working on, and and um, with uh, coming up for the next season. Yeah, I, I think because he never started the preseason, so I'm going to excuse him. But if when the league restarts, December the second, he doesn't lose weight. He, them, the, there no big belly man must get called. <laughs> I, nobody whose belly is bursting over their, who is bursting over their shorts, should get called, brother. <laughs> so I'm going with Aka, what is man? Bridget, we don't want to go there, honestly. We don't want to go back there. I have relieved myself of the stress of Aka being included. I don't want to I don't want to go back there. But welcome, Richard. How are you doing? Uh greetings, man is man. Greetings. Can you hear me, sir? 
Loud and clear, clear and loud. Yeah, give man. thanks, give thanks. Alex, well gone. Big up, Richard. Sorry, Richard. Yeah, let me take this comment, up. Richard, and tell him, man is man, you think the Waterhouse coach is tapper? He might go make adjustment. Ah, uh, but he has made the adjustment already. Because remember, he's down to 10 men. He pulled back um Bradford into midfield. So he's playing four in midfield. And he also pulled back, he, he left Rafiq Thomas in there. So he, he put back bins at center back. So he did make some adjustment. Um, if you talk about changes, they have five changes. So I'm suspecting that he's going to make changes at the start of the second half. Second half. But um, yeah, man, uh, what are your thoughts so far? Um, Sir Richard. And the game. Well, I'm enjoying watching the watch along. I'm 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 only getting the pictures from your words and feedback. Um, interestingly enough, I did see an interview with uh Nicholson uh after right. their semi-final victory. Uh he he did seem a little um camera shy. Um uh, maybe maybe shades of tapper, but uh yeah, he seemed he t he was a total contrast compared to to, to, to Rudolph uh, Speed, who was waxing and 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 um, chomping at the bit uh, in anticipation of um, facing Waterhouse. Well, he's, he's, remember so, that Nikolai Phillips is not the coach, you know. He's just the captain. But, the well, well, well I, I, I'm very aware of that. Oh. I'm very aware okay. of that. But um, <laughs> it, it's interesting. I mean, just the captain... I mean, the captain counts for plenty. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, though, and hoping that he would be more a man of action on the field as opposed to in front of the cameras. But um, this red card, can you describe what exactly happened, please? All right. So the player was the player was not in a threatening position. I mean, there's there's someone in the in in the um and the video. Please, you have to let me know. Type in the private chat who you are because I'm not seeing a picture. And this thing is saying confidential. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on the screen because you're saying confidential. You understand me? So you have to, in the comment section, just type who you are so I can know. Right. So the player is breaking away. Richard, but there's a link, you know, that you can watch the game on in the comment section. I'm going to put it in there again, right? So you can Thanks. watch the game. Um, so the player is going, not in a threatening position, out on the right, and out on the left. He goes out there. He fouls the player. He then sits on the player's leg. The referee is talking to him, telling him to get up. He's continued to sit on the guy's leg. All right, after falling the guy. The referee asked him to stand up. He did not. Anyways, so the referee yellow cards him. His own teammates are calling for the, the opponent to come and check the player. He still stands there, argues with the referee, finding the referee away. So the referee changes it from a yellow card to a red card, I guess because of the dissent shown and the fact that he just never left the area. When you make certain falls, you have to move away. You cannot stay there. You understand me? Um, so poor, as far as I'm concerned, deserving red card. It's a player that I have a high level of respect for. Supposed to be interviewing him next week, but I didn't like that. That's, that's very interesting. Yeah. Do, you, do you think that the, the subtext to that was... Um, extreme petulance in light of the fact that um, Cavaliers were out playing Waterhouse and that was um, one way to get back at them? Is that, is, that, is that what you feel happened? I think that player was causing them problems, but they were in the game. It's not like Cavaliers got clear-cut opportunities up to that point. Both teams were in the game. And even if you feel like they're pressuring you, getting a red card don't help you. No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah. My goodness. Well, well, watch this. Alex and Manning's man and views and subscribers out there. This leads me, interestingly, into another point. Because um, following this Tapper Sports Max interview, this is the first time I've been um, on, on YouTube and on a show. And I've got a paper in front of me um, with 17 points. I've been to the, I've been to the mountaintop, my brothers. <laughs> I've been to the mountain top. Can you see? I'm bearded up. I had to get out of this um this cooker that is known as the Jamaican national football fiasco and saga. I went to the hills and I came back. I came back with some scripture, but I'm just gonna touch on one one point, sir. 
and I'd love to get Alex's input and Manning's and subscribers' on, uh, views on this. <laughs> Look, we're watching the JPL finals at the moment, and Tampa Whitmore seems to be of the school that believes fervently in Jamaican born, born players, believes in players that he's worked with and feels he can work with who are ready to, 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 to bleed blood for Jamaica. Let me point out, in the 23-stroke, 24-man squad, there's at least 10 UK-born Jamaican players. My question is this. From all the criticism and hailstones and firestone and firestorms that, that Tapper is receiving, are all those who support the likes of Theodore Tapper Whitmore, are they in danger of becoming extinct and 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 um past their sell-by date and uh, maybe a danger to the future of Jamaican football simply because they believe in working as a team, unity, a word that you believe in, and they don't believe in jumping on, gathering every player that is named on social media? Alex, you want to go ahead? No, you go first. Uh, listen, all right. So I can't, I can't speak to what a person feels, thinks. You understand me? I can only speak from my opinion. I believe that the best Jamaicans must always represent Jamaica in any discipline or in any sector of life. If you're a Jamaican and you play cricket and you live in Austria or Australia, you can play for Jamaica if you're better than those whom we have. Simply put, right? Because you're a Jamaican. You should not be exempt, excluded based on where you're born or live as long as you're a Jamaican. What I will agree with people is if they say to me, at the time where people come on, it doesn't give enough time to build chemistry. I can say I understand that. What I will say to that, though, is the players clearly, especially the ones who are outside of Jamaica, generally say, we have always wanted to be a part of this. But guess what? We have never been called. What are we supposed to do? Once a player comes out and says that, argument is done they are to be a part of the setup they are to be a part of the team you, you understand me that is what's supposed to happen and until we have that we're gonna have we're gonna keep having problem but the game is the game is actually back um so at, yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah I'm, and i can't right we're not we have any conversation richard while the game is richard, going on so we we'll come back so. on at the end of the game um and talk a little bit back. yeah we'll yeah all right game, richard right? All right, I know Alex is chomping at the bit, so if we can talk again, no problem. So enjoy the oh, second yeah. half, everybody. Yeah, man, and I sent you the link, Richard, so you can watch the game. Guidance, I'm going to lock onto that right now. Yeah, it's on the Instagram. Yeah, man, check it. All right. Oh, thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, so peep, um, Eagle Republic, watch I know. I hear the question, but um, I, I got, we, we have got to deal with that afterward because we want to give some credence. It's raining, people. Um, I want to give some credence to the local league. You understand me? But I understand your point. You're absolutely right. But um, by certain things, we can only speculate and discuss. We never go and know the, the, the route and, and, and the cause of it. Heavy rains here, but does it affect the surface or the plain condition? Because this is where the artificial turf is ideal, people. Um, yeah, <laughs> you see, they promised that. <laughs> yeah, man. What do you mean, Clive Simit? Clive Simit, are you ninja? Because there's a Clive Simit big boy keeper, you know, short goalkeeper, you know, they used to call ninja from Boy Stone. If, the, if that is a Clive Simit, of course, the son of a play for Jamaica. What are you talking about? Your son of a play for Jamaica. Listen, I, I, there's a lot of American that I, I am trying to get into the female team and in Jamaica U teams. Well, not American, but Jamaican born in America. So I, I, I don't buy the whole thing about. Players can't play because no, I, I I'm not into that. Yeah, but game has restarted. I'm um, playing at a faster pace. Waterhouse seems to have come back out, um, looking for a goal. I'm um, playing with a lot of pace, but it, it's a throwing this time for the Cavaliers team. Still, uh, 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 they lead by a goal to nil goal by Jamai Topi in the 17th minute. Um, what are they doing? I mean, 
this is just the 46 minutes. Why are they walking so slow to take the chores and stuff like that? It's not necessary at this time. Yeah. So, um, Waterhouse, down by a goal to nil, down by a player as well. Let's see if they will uh, rebound. Your captain and leader is off. Here we go. Uh, Waterhouse on the attack. Good ball being played by Waterhouse. Down to 10 men, but still, you know, playing some good football. Uh, playing it wide out right to Beadle. Beadle playing it down. The, oh, giving it away, but gets it back. Uh, Cavalier in position. Throw, throwing for Waterhouse. Taken quickly by Beadle. Uh, but one back by the Cavalier's defense. Cavalier's in position. This looks like busy. Good play by doing busy Atkinson. Uh, making a lot of one and two passes. Right here is the Cavaliers team. Yeah, that's around six passes. A, a very beautiful pass played all the way over to this right side. Oh, brilliant take by Ming. What a beautiful ball here. It pass here is Webster. Whoa! Trying to hit, knock that one across the goal. Good defending that time by Damian Baines, and it goes out for a throw. A lovely football being played. Lovely football. Yeah, having some lightning at the venue right now, as you can see. So we figure that that this look like hail storm or something. Referee checking with his officials. Look like we're going to have a break in the game. Yes, there is a break in the game, and um, the Waterhouse players are not happy about this. They are not happy. Um, there is no lightning. There is no thunder. I think this is this is this is this is a problem. Remember, re, re, remember, remember that there is no light at this venue. So if the game ends, there is going to be a problem. Oh, there is there is some lightning. I understand. Hey. Christmas. I am sure, boss. <laughs> How you doing? How your KC, how your KC ball up? Busy acting yeah. to look in. Well, Cavaliers, you know, we believe in youths. And Cavaliers, the younger of both teams in terms of age. So, it's Jamaica football. I would like to see youths play. So, it's a good look that we're heading in that way. Um, One time, you see what Nikolai Finlay do? That's yeah. what that's what the older guys would do to the you, kids and, and, and just get away yeah. with yeah, and get away go. with it. So I was I I was happy to see he got a red card. That was too dirty yeah. of a play from an experienced guy like him. Also, uh, yeah, for the uh, national team, that's what I'm saying. I, you, 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 this is a this is a cause. Ronaldo so, Webster is 19 years old. It's someone who stuff. even wants to become a coach to be doing that. It it's not. <laughs> and you know what it, is it, funny? Both of them play together at Reno. Yeah, it was distasteful to see that he sat. He sat there like he was on a chair. He just sat and he didn't move. The, the referee had to call him on. I'm thinking like, what is he thinking? If you, if your own teammate, because Howell is calling the Cavaliers bench to come on. Brendan, if your teammate is doing that, you know that they need to move out of the area. But I mean, yeah. I know I know like Clive Smith said earlier that you know, Zidane called the league a Bush league. But let me say this still. I'm not telling you that the league is the best league <laughs> in the world or anywhere close to it. But I will say to you, I still don't call it a Bush league because the players were paid. The league is televised. They're playing on better surface and there's better playing. There are games where players still get hurt at the highest level. And you see bad players. A lot of the bad players have been eliminated from the game if, if the referee did not make the decision then i would agree that you understand me it is a, yeah. it, it is bushly but the fact that the referee took the strong decision to give the man a red card do it's a final and this is the captain and it's early in the game yeah it shows he that could the have, league... he, yeah he could have all the red card because thinking about that but 
he put that away and gave you the red card. So like I say, that's through the door. Yeah. All right. So I hear this drastic Seymour. Let me tell you this. We we keep forgetting that the best some of the better Jamaican teams have gone to the final stages of the Conquer Cup. Remember that there's a hub of you team, for example, with Jeremy and you that did well. The Portmore team that won yeah. Premier League. They went they went to the Conquer. I think I mean they played against the MLS team and competed, I think, win one leg and lost. All right. Then you had the Mobia United team with Ladiel Richie, Owen Garden. Um, all Woosencroft, all of these guys, Fabian McCarthy, that Montego Bay team. The striker, what was the striker name? Ah, uh, geez, Dino, D is Dino, Dino Williams. Williams, Dino, Dino Williams. Williams, and Owen Garden. Um, they had Woosencroft, they had this other guy named Dane. This fast guy used to play a short guy, look a slimy guy. Fuck. Um, somebody from out of that side can tell me, but he used to play on one of the flanks, always speedy. Very speedy winger that they had. So I believe that Cavaliers is a good enough team to compete at against some of those teams, especially because they invest in youth. Because some of these youth, if you call an under 20, 23 team, you know, most of the players are going to be called out, yeah. of, these, out of these squad. So I think they at, yeah, they, right, they had Atti, at, they had Atti as well, they had Jordan Fletcher. That was a good man to go be a United team that went to, out there and and they had a the next one, man. It's not Wesley. Ati, but they had a the next one who was even playing over Ati at one time. Forgot his name. But I think so. Um, Short. Oh, jeez. It's not Ati, you know. Somebody else, but I don't remember. But I think Chris Lynch, the league, the league, the league has improved. It's not where it ought to be. But the fact that you have 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds and you see Mount Pleasant, the earlier game, Mount Pleasant had a 17-year role who scored for them. You still have your Jeremy and Johnsons who, and Nikolai Finlayson who should not be playing, but they are transitioning into coaching. Like, Well, I would say should not be playing because we're not saying all youngsters, you know, because you still need yeah. like the Nikolai Finlaysons to do, um, to teach the youths yeah, their yeah. experience. You still need that in, inside, but Unlike the Teddy Johnsons who would have played overseas also. Yeah. It, it, Teddy, yeah, right. Because one of the things I love about Teddy Johnson is that he has been coaching and teaching. Even with the, the other players from the other team. I see him talking to them. You need a little bit of that in the league. And then they transition out. Like you can't leave the league to teenagers. You understand me? Yeah, because what happens is at the end of the day, management, no matter what team I say support in Jamaica, is one Jamaica, you know. Yeah, that, that, well, that's... And the goal is, the goal of doing all of this is to go to the World Cup, is to develop good footballers to go make money, one, and then qualify for the World Cup. Get quality footballers to qualify for World Cup. Yeah. There you go. Um, And who do you need? Like, at the end of the day, watch this now. So, if I have Jeremy and Johnson, like Jeremy and Johnson is at Tivoli, he doesn't start. He gets like 10 minutes. I think that is good because it is part of the developmental process. Atkinson, I see Trayvon Reed, a next young player. Like, I, I keep telling people, I don't think any of them can get into the national team right now, Chris Lynn. No. Here's what I'm thinking. We should already, like, I think today... We should, at the end of this league, we need to find the best, say, because 2026 is five years from now. So the campaign going to end in 2025. So we need to find some players that by 2025, they are 24, 25 years old. So we need some 20-year-old and 21-year-old. Find the best, 30 of them. Because if you said that, listen, if, 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 if half of them work out, you already have a core of 15. Start getting them together and working with them. It may mean that once a month you have something. You understand me? That is kind of the forward thinking we need. We're still going to need other players. We're going to still have players from England and from America and from other places. You're going to have late bloomers. People late bloomers. Just, you never see and, and they just caught the eye. Yeah, yeah. There you go. But I think we have to do that. We have to do that. All right. I'll tell me yeah, the you. Yeah, the thing with Tapa, though. Is that um, Maggie for a World Cup coming up? 
and we know that. Maggie sit too much bench. Yeah. And then all of a sudden now we just store him in some game and say, come on. And we expect to see the Maggie where we know can play. Yeah, not true. He, the guy name was Donovan Carey. Carey. Donovan Carey was his name. A little speedy fault from Mobile <laughs> United. Yeah. But this is the thing now. Like, I think he's forced to start Maggie. So I expect to see more of Maggie. Yeah, but ahead. that should be the case. Maggie shouldn't have run out some 90 minutes from a long time. Yeah, he never give yeah. a lot of games like, until the World Cup qualifiers now. This is a serious business now, you know. And I know we are run out, Maggie. It's basically a trial and error thing that now. That is true. That's a good point. It's the same thing with the, the young son named Kain Paris. At what point do you call him? Because the man is sure. doing well in his league. You don't call it him. It makes no sense you call Junior Flemings and don't call Paris. Yeah. It's a disrespect to the youth. Well, football has grown in Concord for the last four years. Have we seen the result of Jamaica teams like the under-23? Well, I can tell you that the last under-20 team, because we can always look for the bad things in a drastic Seymour. Remember the last under-20 team with the same Nick Hugh Daly, Tyreek McGee, Jamai Topi, Javian Brown. You remember that team only lost out and goal different, I think by one goal. And Jamai Topi was the leading goal scorer. In and that, that team did never camp, really. They didn't have a camp. And it was, it, I think it was lot Jerome of overseas, Wade. A lot of overseas youth were good going to college at the time and all of that. Was it Jerome Wade who took Jerome it because Wade. they couldn't even Jerome find Wade. a coach. They couldn't even find a coach. And like two days before, it took up that team. And they only lost out and goal difference. So sometimes we can look at it. with next. Mexico. We drew with Mexico. That's it. In a game that we could have won. And Mexico went to the under-20 World Cup. So that, all I'm saying is that we have to keep developing and working with the youth. You can't have that whole group of players. And none of them are their own right now. Only Maggie. Only Maggie alone. Yeah, only Maggie from out of that team. And, and I think see, genuinely... And, and Tup, Javian Brown. Javian Brown. I think Topi yeah. should, have been, should have been a part of that. Yeah. You understand me? So, so that is part of the problem we have. We, we take these young players... We put them in some pressure game. Them don't perform in the pressure game. When them don't perform in the pressure game, we throw them away. Somebody said something to me today when the Mount Pleasant game was played. Yeah, the number seven guy. Yeah, man, really look good. One down, MU, is that from what? Manchester United. How them game go today? <laughs> Drew 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yes, Loki say yeah, um, yeah. Almost yeah. got it. Loki that say yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, when you hear me, I foot too long. But watch <laughs> this. Uh, what, uh, so what is now? So I remember I tell people this: Alex Marshall and Christian Pulisic played in the same under seventeen tournament. That tournament, Alex Marshall was named player of the tournament. No, Christian Pulisic was in the tournament. Where is Pulisic right now? And where is Alex Marshall? How did that happen? How at 16, Alex Marshall was seen as better. And at 20, around 20, 20 what, 23, 24, one is leaps and bounds above the other. Something is wrong with the whole football. Yeah, we're playing schoolboy football too long. We're not supposed to be playing schoolboy football after age 17. Yeah. Clive Smith said that take money. I, I, I agree with you, you know. I agree take money. But if every day we get up and we say, listen, we can't do this because it takes money, we're going to be stuck in the shape. At some point, we have to decide. Are we going to fix the roof first? Are we going to fix the foundation? And if every day you keep, you keep patching up, patching up the roof, it's going to get heavier and the foundation, it will crumble because the foundation can't hold it. I think we need to make up our mind and decide to fix the, the foundation and build. We cannot build from the top down. We have to build from the bottom up. And, and this whole money is there, but we're putting it in the World Cup campaign every time to the detriment of development. And I'm not talking about developing Jamaican players who born in Jamaica. I'm talking about if there's a 15-year-old in England, 
Don't wait until him at 21 and England want him. Find him from now. Make him get accustomed to the system. Start calling some of the former players. Where's Morgan? How old is your son? Paul Hall, how old is your son? All right? Because if you play for Jamaica, obviously, your 12 year old son, put them in a database if they can play football. You understand what I mean? But man is man. <clears throat> uh, gre greetings, young man. Uh, what's yes, your name, greetings. sir? Chris. Chris Lynch. Chris greetings. Lynch. Greetings, Chris. Chris, London, England sorry, here. Um, Shatter is, Shata is uh, Terry. Sorry, Richard. I'll soon get to you. Shatta is Tariq Maggi, brother, cousin, uncle, father, and agent, and PRO. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Richard. <laughs> ask, I'm looking to ask um, um, Papa Chris, what does Jamaican, what does Jamaica mean to you? And what does Jamaican football um, mean to you? Because I, I think... Currently, I was really infused. I got on board um, full time onto the Jamaican uh, wagon, as it were, just before and leading into the recent um, Gold Cup campaign, where Jamaica were highly favoured to go far and got knocked out. Um, and there was a lot of criticism for the likes of Tapper Whitmore. But right now, Jamaica arguably has the finest crop of talent that they've ever had. But I think it's the mother of all tasks facing Jamaican football to tap into the very best of what Jamaica has to offer on Jamaican rock and overseas, be it America, United Kingdom and Europe. What does football mean to Jamaica, the, 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 the average Jamaican fan? And do you think that we have the, the appetite, uh, the, the intelligence and wherewithal to actually bring everything together because it's no easy task. What say you, Chris? I think a lot of Jamaicans love football. Um, we follow the Premier League. We follow various leagues around the world because of how they market it to us and other sports in, in other countries like the NFL. People in Jamaica are getting interested into the NFL even though Jamaicans don't play. So we like entertainment. And Jamaicans like football. I mean, I don't know what, what, what in uh, what where you want me to go, but Jamaicans do love football, and they love it to the point they would like to see Jamaica go to the World Cup all the time. That's why they get so emotional. And if we lose, they want Tapa to go, or they cuss out players. That's why we get so emotional about it because we love it and we want Jamaica to do good. But Chris, this is this is where part of the problem comes in. I think this current situation really calls for cool heads, the likes of Manning's man, but yet combined with passionate hearts. Because from what Manning, the likes of Man and Man, Manning's man has said, um, Jamaican fans have a particularly close affinity to many of the players through their experiences at the office. Um, and the fact that these players um, are just through their club um, endeavours and the fact that they're born in Jamaica a little closer, that they've been brought up in Jama Jamaican communities. But we're facing the likes of the Mason Holgates, the Bobby Reeds, Michael Hectors, uh, Mikel Antonio, um, being brought up in other systems as professional players. And then they're expected to fly thousands of miles to land back in Jamaica to take part in various competitions and to be part of a team that is gelling and meshing into an organized, professional, tough, united outfit. But I think it's extremely difficult. And what I've been picking up, Chris, is the mentality of certain Jamaican fans who, though they want success, the question is, at what price are they prepared to accept that success? For example, it's conceivable that the Jamaican national team could be, through sheer quality, composed of 70, 80%, shall we say, of overseas talent. Would the average Jamaican player or fan, would you, Chris, be willing to accept that state of play once it's it necessary comes, it comes to get... With much, it comes with maturity and a lot of people not willing to really look at it. 
the way that my mom go to England, she has me, I was born in England. Me personally, I am a Jamaican because how your mom grow in England, you're going to be grown like a Jamaican. No matter what the English culture you get from the England from going to school there, you still have that piece of Jamaica in you. If you talk to most of these um English band players, they can tell you stuff about Jamaica. They didn't research it. It's because it was Jamaica was born in them. Yeah. Jamaica yeah. was born in them because right, they get the experience. They get to experience it. It's like, okay, I come to the States. I find that my my daughter, she like a lot of Jamaican stuff. So while people would give her a lot of American food, she like a lot of Jamaican food. Yeah. Jamaica was born in her. <laughs> it's not it's not a big thing. I don't know. I am not I know what you're saying. You have a lot of Jamaicans who think that if you take players from overseas, something is wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with it. They are Jamaicans because it, if you have a grandfather that went to, um, to England, America, wherever in the world he went, and he had kids, that's where most of these players are coming from. And when you look at them, they look like us. The Raheem Sterlings look like us. The Michael Antonio look, looks like us. So I don't, yeah. I don't know what the big problem is, but you're right. We have to get rid of that mindset. I would say we have to yeah. get rid of that mindset that to think that if... If ninety percent of the team shows up and it's from England base, People, we should have game, that... game time, game time, game time, game time, we have go... <laughs> game, game time, time. game time, because... yeah, yeah, it break, yeah, it's still raining, but the lightning stuff. So game time, cause... yeah, lightning, yeah. but light... the game is right. back on. But good yeah, conversation, Richard. Yeah, man, yeah, man. Cool All respect, right. <laughs> yeah, man. Cool. All right, we are back, people. Um, game is back on. Um, picking up from the fourth, the forty ninth minute. All right, so. Yeah, watch the game, and then at the end of the game, we continue the conversation. Cavaliers on the attack. Oh, good defending by Waterhouse. Good defending by Waterhouse. Still, one nil lead for Cavaliers. If you have not yet, please make sure you like the video. You know. Don't just don't just don't just watch it, watch along. Thank you for joining. Really appreciate it because we have never done this. You understand me? I don't know if there's ever been a watch along to a Jamaican uh league game. You know, so this is the first we want it to be the first of many. So you understand me? You have to make some comment, like the video, so we can know that yeah, this is something that we need to do going forward. Yeah, man. So like the video and let others know about it. One nil lead, one goal lead for Cavaliers. Water was still down to ten men. Um, no major, no substitution so far for Waterhouse, though they can make five. I mean, but they're holding their own. Um, yeah, so. No, no, don't worry yourself. Just copy the question. Um, unseen sports, man. Cop copy the question. You know, you know, as long as there's, a, I will try and answer, man. Come on, copy the question, and then you paste it back in the comment section when the game finish. Gadiel Irving, of, this is the cousin of Alex Marshall. He has been yellow carded for Cavaliers. Oh, poor pass played forward. The sun is out in all its brilliance. There seems to be still a little drizzle, but the sun is out in all its glory. It was just a quick bout of Heavy showers, the skies have cleared up beautifully. Oh, this could be a chance for Waterhouse. 
This could be a chance of Waterhouse. Could they get equalized? Oh, shot and goal blocked by the defender that time. But Waterhouse still on the attack. Kimani Campbell has screened this one, collected in goal easily by J.D. White. Poor defending that time by King. Um, not clearing that one pop properly. Uh, J.D. White kicking this one forward. Um, controlled by, this is Baines in the Waterhouse defense. Uh, going long, uh, finding... Oh, Beadle. Here is Rafiq Thomas. Howell in control. Very good player, Howell. He is controlling this midfield. Here is Kimani Campbell. Here is Howell again in possession. Uh, plays this one uh, to Fletcher. Fletcher uh, trying to turn his man right here. Oh, gets around him. This could be a free kick. Yes, mm. it is. Foul um, by Topi that time. And Andre. Fletcher seem to be a change. Richard or oh, Beadley's out, and Ricardo Thomas. So the Thomas brothers are on for Waterhouse. Here is Kimani Campbell. Uh, a poor cross that oh, poor cross to the back post. Good defending. I think I think Jaden White was a little hesitant in the goal that time. I mean, he could have collected that one. He left his defender under some pressure who had to head it behind. Corner kick for Waterhouse. We are in the 53rd minute of the finals of the JPL. Uh, 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 here is Andre Fletcher with the corner kick. Uh, poor kick not beating the first defender uh, who heads it out for a throw to Waterhouse. Uh, midway, the Cavalier half. Uh, throw taken all the way back to Wilson, who to Baines, who goes long, uh, but giving it away. Uh, giving away again. Word deflected shot almost looped into the back of the net over the bar. It is a next corner kick for Water. Shaquille Bradford there. I mean, brilliant turn he made, you know, taking that one at the top of the D, a one time off the left shot deflecting off Jamai Topi. It it leaped, uh, you know, uh, uh, looped over the bar. Corner kick for Waterhouse. Will it be better than the first one? To the back post it comes, headed out by the Cavaliers defense, but Waterhouse still in control here. I mean, getting some possession right here, the Waterhouse team. Here you go, here is Bins coming further left, finding Thomas, DeAndre it is. Uh, playing this one in the box, won by the Cavaliers defense. Um, uh, Thomas in control again, still Thomas. Waterhouse having some needed position, position here. Oh, beautifully passed by Bins. Here is, this looks like Bradford. Oh, twisting, turning, not going anywhere. Finding Howell. Oh, Howell beating one. Howell beating two, beating three. Inside the box, Howell. Oh, 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 oh. brilliant play. Oh, I mean, uh, brilliant play by Howell. But uh, very well defended also by the Waterhouse defense. Uh, Waterhouse applying some pressure here, not able to get a shot off on goal. Oh, brilliant tackle. Waterhouse in possession, ball coming across. Headed out by the Cavaliers. Back to Rafi Thomas with the ball. Inside the 18, he's been forced out by the defensive. Oh, shot coming in. Oh, there you go. Oh, free kick. Oh, my word. Yellow card for Duane Busy Atkinson. I'm telling you, this Waterhouse team really, really looking well. Oh, my Lord. Really looking well. Playing some better ball at the beginning of this second half after the water break. So we have three Thomas on the field, two for Waterhouse, one for Cavaliers. Yellow card shown to Busy Atkinson for the foul on Thomas. This could be very dangerous. The last time Waterhouse played Cavaliers, they got a free kick. Um, Around 32 yards that being scored. This one is 28 yards. And um, uh, 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 this looks to be a four man wall being set up by J. Dean White. And this is Damian Beans. I mean, if you know Damian Beans, he's always been uh, a, a good free kick taker. Will it be Beans? Will it be Beans? Could this be a goal? Oh, into the wall. 
uh, into the wall and Beans wins back possession. And there's a next free kick right here. And uh, uh, well, this is Alex Summers uncle, Ladiel Irwin. Could this be a red card? Second yellow card? Is it? Just a stern talking to. Just a stern talking to. I think I think I think there needs to be a couple of substitution. The this re, um, referee nation seem to want to get rid of the nation of footballers. Yeah, he's Alex Marshall's uncle, Cadell Irwin. Ball out left to Leng. Here is Doxley, Atkinson, back to King, to Topi, Topi, to King, pressure being applied by Waterhouse, this play is a good player, this King, easily beating, the, it, it, you know, taking risk inside the box, oh, but Waterhouse with the press, oh, Waterhouse on the attack again, this could be a shot, shot, one goal, oh, my Lord. Rafiq Thomas didn't have his head over the ball, so that one went over the bar. Poor shooting, poor shooting. Uh, so, so Waterhouse is pressing higher up the field, creating a few chances, yet to have a shot on target. Still one nil in favor of Cavaliers. Waterhouse again in possession. Cavaliers now. Here is Webster. Losing this one. Waterhouse again. Here is Fletcher. Oh, good ball to Rafi Thomas. What can he do? Can he create something? He comes back. Shot on target. Blocked by the Cavaliers. Event. Shot on target. This time going over the top. Pick up. Big up sports frenzy in the house. No, man. Drastic Seymour. You see that comment? What you were saying is that you were talking about how CONCACAF has improved and basically saying that Jamaica has not, you know, is, get, is going down and you were talking about under 23 teams. So I just use that as an example to say that we just missed out. USA and Mexico qualified over us. Those are the two teams. And Mexico didn't beat us. It was a drawn game and um, it was by like goals. So the point I was making that if you were to look at that, because you mentioned the under-23, you could say that we are on par with them at the under-20, under-17, and under, well, under-15 age group level. So it is 1-0 here uh, in favor of Cavaliers at the Captain Horace Borrell uh center goal scored by jamoy topi but the second half has really looked better the waterhouse team they're pressing higher up the field Some coaches call this the triple press. It's not the quadruple press. We are pressing in threes at the top. Ball cleared upfield uh, by the Cavaliers defense. Control in, 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 in the center of the circle by Waterhouse. Really looking well. Rafi Thomas again. Here we go. Oh, what a ball. Good. Almost. Almost. Uh, ball tripped over the top right there. But Shaquille Bradford not able to get it before Jaden White. But I must say I'm impressed with the second half performance by the Waterhouse team. And this is making me feel even worse that, that Nikolai Finlayson took that crazy red card when he could have been on the field and given his team a better chance. 
Um, here it is, uh, Coach uh, Gail getting very animated on the sideline. Um, seems like he's arguing with the officials, not happy with a decision that time for that foul given to, to or it looked like a throw-in, given to, to Cavaliers. Uh, Coach Gail thought it was a free kick given, but no. It's actually a throw-in for Cavaliers midway the Waterhouse half thrown back oh what a stupid giveaway that is i don't understand what is going on with these players is it the pressure of the moment Waterhouse again playing with 10 men but all the attacks are coming from the Waterhouse team what a beautiful pass here it is can he get it in and uh, create an opportunity for his team top of the d oh poor controls at time but Waterhouse still in possession uh here here it bins to howell howell uh playing to richard oh poor control player just coming on probably not uh, uh getting into the pace of the game right now yeah yeah people check out if you're an nfl fan you need to check out sports frenzy at seven later on they'll be having a show covering the nfl that sports frenzy you can check them out on youtube yeah man love on trail uh josh carl you know and the entire mob over there check them out and then you also have uh coach's desk they have a show as well second night of the triple treat talawa tv also have right after this game there's a post match show um by crystal from talawa tv yeah check that out yeah man she will be on with ryan lfc so you can check them out as well so still one nil in favor of Cavaliers, but Waterhouse looking the better of, 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 of both teams in the second half. I mean, here, here we go again. Cavaliers in possession. I think the Cavaliers team need a couple of changes. They are being outplayed by a 10-man Waterhouse team. Atkinson has to be coming so deep, so deep to 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 to, to get anything out of this game. Waterhouse again in possession. Thomas having a wonderful game. That is DeAndre. What a good attempt at the pass right there. Could this be? Oh, good goalkeeping by Jaden White, taking authority and control in what was a tricky situation as that ball crept into the 18 yard. Here is Ladale Irvin on the left for Cavaliers coming inside to. Duxley, Duxley, uh, well, that was Nicochet Morita, Duxley, Duxley coming further right where he finds uh, Ming, Ming coming back to uh, Topi, Topi to King, King to Lane. Uh, Cavalier just uh, slowing things down, possessing the ball. They are still in control, just knocking it around, which is what I think they need to do. Just keep possessing the ball because at some, at some point, this Waterhouse team will be pushing, looking to, to get a goal to get themselves back into the game. Long ball played. Uh, good defending here. Headed back to goalkeeper Nash. Waterhouse in possession again. You'd think that it, it is Cavaliers who are playing with 10 men. Oh, sometimes the controlling. I don't know if it is weary leg or lapse in concentration, but sometimes one more change has been made. Uh, the maestro. This player was touted. This player coming on was touted as one of the best players to ever play schoolboy football in Jamaica. He is called Chevron Stewart. Former St. George's standout. He's coming on. Just completed a stint in 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 North America. Completed college and did well over there. He's back in Jamaica playing on the local scene. Let's see what will 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 happen. All right. Ball ping ponging in the air. Atkinson, beautiful, beautiful volley pass, pass, sorry, out here to uh, Cadell Irwin, who trying to square this one, it goes out, and it is a 
spot kick for Waterhouse. Yeah. Free kick here. Game getting a little getting a little sloppy. Hope the quality. Hope the quality can improve. But it is looking a little sloppy. I think the quality has, well, not fallen, but Waterhouse has certainly started pressing higher up the field, which is affecting um, Tivoli's play. I hope this doesn't peter out to a uh, 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 a one goal game. I, I was expecting fireworks from Cavaliers, but I'm a little bit disappointed in their play since they have taken the lead. I don't understand. This is what I don't I, I, people. I don't agree with this. There is a water break. There's a water break. All right. Listen, is the sun this hot that they needed a water break? It was raining. They came out half time. It started raining. Um, they went back into the dressing room and they are taking a water break. What is going on? It, the, the sir, um, I mean, I know there's a, a lot of heat that emanates from the from the artificial turf. Maybe that is the reason why. Um, but it does look bright and, and sunny up there at the Captain Horace Morrill Center. So maybe the heat is having an effect, and that is why. We have been seeing the sloppy play. People, please, if you have not yet, please uh, uh, like the video, right? And um, if you're watching and you have not yet subscribed to I Am Sure Sports, please do so. Again, remember that um, Sports Frenzy, they'll be having their uh, show this evening and they'll be covering a lot of NFL stuff. So if you're an NFL fan, you want to join them. Um, over there and then you have coach Mindy, Mindy at the coach's desk and then right after this stream we're going to be on for 10 minutes after the game and then we're going to jump over to Talawa TV with Crystal for her to give her post uh, post match analysis um, so you can go there and share your TV please um, yeah, check out her, her videos um, and the work that she's doing alright, um, please about to restart after the water break um, the clock is showing um 70 minutes okay so this is part of the other problem. There's a player who had on the wrong footwear and the, the, the official has just spotted it. That looked like the wrong kind. Oh, Craig Butler is at the game. Yeah. All right, we have, we have Crystal. I, I, I don't know if Crystal can watch and talk at the same time. <laughs> Should be able to. How are you? I am I am doing well. I'm doing well. I'm not enjoying the second half of the game. Yes. The red card is affecting the quality, you know. So hoping that I can get a couple more goals. 
Yes, yeah, a slight opposite of what we've seen in the um, first 45. Yeah, yeah. But Waterhouse is looking better. I think they have come out. I mean, they had no other choice. I mean, this is a final. And, and uh -huh. you, you just have to, you can't, you, you, either, you either get six, you have to try and score, even if it means you getting six. Yeah, yeah. At some point, you have to stop. I mean, this is like 18 minutes to go. You have to go on the attack. You know, you have to push high. Um, it's not an embarrassing to get six because you're already down to 10 men. But don't settle for a 1-0 defeat. Yeah, I think they've got the experience to try and um, pull something back, but it's, it's looking a little bit um, complex for them, um, just edging towards the latter stage of the second half, and it's yeah. still 1-0 um, with 73 minutes played on the clock. Yeah. But PV, you can see that the quality of um, Chevron Stewart, he has come on and he's just, he's just knocking the ball around. This guy rarely loses the ball. If he would just get fit, uh, there you go. You see him again? He, he's a maestro on the field. Look at him. Look at this. This guy is, he's a maestro. I don't know what happened to him after St. George's. This is a disappointment with some of our footballers that, you know, they, they are so, they do so well in high school and they just fade away. Uh, somebody said Bob Marley is the order of the day. <laughs> yeah, I guess Leeds won by a goal to nil. Lot of one, a, a lot of one, a one goal being scored in, in by teams uh, over this weekend for real. Because um, Manchester scored one. Um, you know, Everton scored one. Well, it's nil all with Arsenal. Uh, leads one by one, hey. What was your prediction? I think I think you predicted one um Cavaliers to win by one goal to nil. Game is not over yet, you know. The game is not over yet. I I had three two, well, uh, which is not going to happen. Leon, what, see, see your fans telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear, Ian. I'm happy for you. I hope you have a lovely weekend. Yeah. Uh, people, um, 16, 16 or so minutes to go in the game is still a one-goal lead in favour of Cavaliers. But I, I will say that um, I'm impressed with the second-half performance of the Waterhouse team. Um Playing with 10 men, they're doing very well. Some some people are saying that um Chevron Stewart is a bigger talent than Alex Marshall. And Ashani Walker from Jamaica College. Yeah, where is that player? I don't like I don't know where that Ashani Walker. That was a very good player in the in the early stages of JC's um success in schoolboy football. Oh, this could be danger for Waterhouse. Here, here is a man, the danger man. Oh, poor control, poor control, poor control. That's what happens when your first touch is not good. You see, the players can't complain that the surface is a reason, you know. Um, but this Waterhouse team really playing well. I, I give credit to them um, because they are down to 10 men and they are having greater possession. Oh, shot from around 40 yards out, straight into the arms of J.D. White. Looking quite comfortable in goal today. That is by Damian Bint. I think this could be the end of Rolando um, Webster. Ronaldo Webster. I think this could be the end of him. He has been nursing an injury. That was a very hard challenge by... Campbell and he could be he could be out. I think he's going to be substituted. Do, didn't didn't know that he was going to play. He has heavy strappings. 
um looks like he this is this is it for him for today i, I think in wisdom the coach should replace him he's a good talent and we don't want him to further injure injure himself <laughs> hey listen you don't know listen brethren all right sports friends anytime you're ready for running some league you let me know you know man i see the water host the chairman of water host bruce bicknell is there as well um listen sports frenzy they need to have a football competition. I believe that the, the reggae boys should give us a practice game. Craig Butler is there as well. The reggae boys versus the vloggers. What's that thing? Good practice game, that you know, because we know them couldn't be between you know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I think we could give them a run for them money, man. <laughs> and Crystal could be the coach. <laughs> No, man, I still have my touch, man. Just watch Masters League. Just watch Masters League. You're going to be running out. You understand? We have a, 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 a serious leg problem that has been plaguing me for a, two, a couple of years. So now that he has been rested, I'm back again to dominate Masters League, man. The score is Cavaliers leading by one goal to nil. They scored in the 17 minute. Goal scored by Jamai Topi. Topi, sorry. Connor taken by... Um, believe it was Irving who took the corner and um goalkeeper misjudged it um and Topi just knocked it knocked it in yeah Craig Butler is in the stand yeah Walker went to university overseas didn't do much in college overseas okay haha <laughs> you coach a team <laughs> uh -huh. Yo, oh, oh, Crystal, they said that you can't coach a team. You'd have to be the assistant coach. <laughs> <laughs> it would be an honor. It would be an honor. Emma Hayes. As Emma the Hayes. Chelsea um, coach. That's a Chelsea. Emma Hayes. Oh, that's a Chelsea coach. <laughs> yeah, one of the most decorated in the in the game. Female coaches. Yeah. All incredible, right, right. incredible manager. Okay. I don't know anything about any blue team that wears blue in London. Male or female. The only thing I know about is Arsenal. I don't know anything about those Chelsea people. I'm telling you. Still, still a goal to nil. Cavaliers lead by. Um, it's 88 minutes, so around 10 minutes to go. We could have a good chunk of time being added on, added on at the end of regular time. But I must say that the second half belongs to Waterhouse. Um, Cavaliers, they have been out of it. I don't know if they're there. I, 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 I feel like there's a little bit of nervousness. Rudolph Speed did say that his team was nervous in the semifinals. So it looks like that is affecting them. Jamai Topi just easily handling this one, knocking it upfield to Shanil Thomas, who, again, poor, poor control. This, this youngster, I know there was some thoughts about him going to Europe but I, I don't know I think he needs to develop some more his touch is poor and he misses too much I am um, <laughs> a good right back I, my, my responses to that is that I have two right foot so not, <laughs> not at all <laughs> Uh, there you go. Fresh. Yeah. I hope you're okay. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Yeah, Manage, right. I think we need to remind Sports Frenzy, who's the most dominant women's team in the English game. I'm think telling you. It's a friendly reminder of who's won it all. Because he's, he's coming across as being a Chelsea supporter. I could be wrong, but... He, he's a Manchester like... United supporter, but he doesn't like Arsenal, so he's going to big up Chelsea. That's why I'm not engaging him in that conversation. Okay, right? it's tactical yeah, yeah. from him. Okay, very yeah, smart. Yeah. Very Thanks smart. for that. Yeah, yeah. So, so leave him alone. Leave him All alone right. because, All you know... Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is um Fresh God big up. Yeah, man, big up Fresh God. All right? I'm good, Fresh. I hope you're okay.
Lynch mob, you can meet you mean a good keeper. Uh come on, Duncan destroyers. Oh, Duncan destroyers for those oh good shot that time by Cavaliers. Duncan destroyers because it, the team was previously owned by the late Leighton Duncan. Um, and Stadium East has always been their the, the, the patch of ground that they play on. Um, I think they have won this, you know, that this would be 41 years since they last won a title. What else on the attack again? There's a comment there from, um, I've lost it, Richard. No, Richard, yes, it does. She does do a bit of punditry, but she is the um, Chelsea manager. She was also once assistant, um, assistant um, at Arsenal Ladies. They were called Arsenal Ladies back then. Yeah, she was at yeah. Arsenal. Oh, that's where she it. learned all her tricks from. You oh, know? that's why she's so good. There you go. <laughs> Chelsea, you know, it's, it's all the gunners. Taught her yeah. very well. Uh, oh, that's how she's so good. <laughs> uh. But the, but the Gunners have been winning some big games, scoring a lot of goals. I mean, they surprise. are just looking like it, the team at the moment. They're looking like a unit. This new coach seems to be very good. This he's a he's Swedish. I believe so. What I like about them is, um, at the moment they they've got a pretty diverse squad. Not not yeah. I mean, they have got a bit of diversity. You know, black and Asian players um coming into the team. And what I didn't like before, so maybe if you looked at them last season. I was frustrated because I was like, this isn't the Arsenal that we know. Yeah. You know, they didn't really have um diversity. And when you when you think of Arsenal, you diversity comes to mind for both the men's team and the women's team. So that was like my only um criticism of them over the years. But now they're looking a bit more diverse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, you don't like them either. Oh, can't manage to Arsenal for that <laughs> one. <laughs> All right, no more Arsenal. No more Arsenal talk. No more Arsenal talk. I uh, don't want them to leave your stream, so no, let's, no, let's no. put Arsenal to a side. <laughs> yeah. And then who is the number 25 on Waterhouse? Number 25 is... um. Who's 25? I need to see who is wearing the 25 and then I can tell you. That look like Ramon Howell. If, if 25 is Ramon Howell, he is a central midfielder. I think one of the one of the better ones um, this season. I think that's the number that he wears. Let me see if it's, it's him. <laughs> King Jack, well, you're a problem. <laughs> I wonder who he, he sounds like a Manchester United fan. Oh, you know, yeah, it's some covert, some covert. You know, Manchester you can spot United them, man. In. Yeah, I, I can, I can spot a Manchester United fan from a <laughs> from a mile, right, right, King Joe, Manchester United, right. It must be Manu. It can't be no other team. I'm telling you, <laughs> King Javi, declare yourself. London is blue. Oh, geez. It's Chelsea. That's even worse. <laughs> well, um, Shatter, who is a past student of Calabar High School, Rabalak, the, 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 the Colin Anderson has come onto the field. Free kick for Cavaliers to be taken by uh, Atkinson. Um, kicks it in, headed out, and um, allowed to run out for a throw. Manins, if you see me looking slightly off screen, it's because I'm just getting my stream ready. Yeah, yeah, man, not a problem. Thank what, you. What, what did you just say about Manchester? Sound like Manning's man was a support. Was? No, man, let me tell you this. The only other team in England that I've ever supported is Liverpool. I told you guys already that I used to get Liverpool jerseys, so I had to support them. Once the jerseys were not in supply anymore, I... <laughs> <laughs> I I follow the Arsenal. I used to support Liverpool when John Barnes, the Ian Rush, Bruce Gobbler, and all of those guys were here. And then I moved on. People, right? See, as soon as this is done, I'm going to close out in like five minutes. And then we Crystal will have her post-match comments and reactions. So we're going to jump over there and give her some support. All right. So yeah, it is it is Howell. 
Coach Minzy in the building from the coach's desk. Not another Manchester United fan. Oh, good opportunity. Coach, I hope you're having a lovely, lovely weekend. Colorado Murray, is this a penalty? Or is it a corner kick? Good pass by Chevron Stewart. Oh, looks like it's a corner kick. Yes, corner kick for a water <laughs> hose. I thought... This is going to be a pe penalty. This is Colorado Murray. He has had a turret time at Waterhouse. Was a top scorer while he was at Tivoli Gardens. I mean, but he has struggled with injuries. Oh, free kick uh, for Waterhouse in, 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 in a dangerous spot here. Few minutes to go in this game. In this game. Um, you know, oh, what did he do? I mean, he had a free kick in an ideal position to play it into the box and he just gave it away. This is a speedy Colin Anderson. Oh, but I mean, if he, even if he was fast as you say in Bolt, he would not be able to catch that one. But Waterhouse on the prowl again. Good ball played in, knocked outside for, to Topi. By <laughs> Topi. People, please, if you have not yet, like the stream. Like the stream. If you don't have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. Hey, Chris, I hope all is well. As a fellow Arsenal fan, can we smile at a useful point? What's your take on Tapa and Arteta? Oh, my Lord. Any similarities? Should we <laughs> <laughs> I think Manning's has to set up another live stream because that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah, yeah. We don't, we're good here. Yeah, we can definitely discuss that at one point. I see Manning's and where's Where's Frenzy? Sports Frenzy. They're all Manchester United fans. Mannings? No, man. Mannings? No, no, no. Um, fresh. Fresh. Sorry. Oh, fresh. Yes. And coach coach is best. Yeah. And, um, frenzy as well. Sports Frenzy. So somebody said that Crystal, they say you have a, that you have a manual crush. I haven't seen that comment, but I can guess who said that. <laughs> I could take a wild guess where that comment came from. Oh, that came from the coaches there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, man. The, the number 25 is, he has been the best CDM in the league. His name is um, Ramon Howell. <laughs> best CDM in the league. Coach, I've seen that the boys are making turning Old Trafford into a dance floor. How do you feel about that? See, everybody who goes there these days have a little dance. I mean, Demari Gray, Demari Gray made a munch, uh, make one basaka and Lindelof look like little babies just learning football. Don't say that. Don't say that, man. Ends. You don't want to upset certain people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, it looks like a player is down holding onto his chest right now. I look like he'll be taken off on the stretcher. It's the 89th, the 90th minute. So just a, a few seconds to go and then stop it. And look like it is doing Atkinson, um, who looks like he is not going to be able to finish this one. Seven minutes of time to be added on. Can Waterhouse find one back? Substitution for Cavaliers as we, you know, we are into additional time. Mr. Rudolph Speed giving instructions um, on the sideline, telling them to play two up top and nine in the back. No, I'm just kidding. He didn't say that. Uh, Christopher Ainsworth. This is a 15-year-old coming on for Cavaliers. Christopher Ainsworth. Um, so this is good to see. A 15-year-old coming on. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Fred today, man. Fred, the man, Fred, Fred, Fred was hungry. You guys need to feed your players, man. Coach says he has no feelings. I feel so sorry for him now. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Well, 
What good play by Waters. This could be a shot. Oh, what a brilliant save by Jaden White. Brilliant save. That was a chance. Colorado Murray hitting that one beautifully, but with a better save was Jaden White tipping that one over the bar. Oh my word! Can you believe it? If that would have gone in, then the pressure would have doubled on Cavaliers. But it's a corner kick for Waterhouse. This could pose some more danger to them. Brilliant save by Jaden White that time. Um, fresh God, how old is? I think he's twenty-seven. You know, twenty-six. Ramon Howell, I think he's twenty-six. Waterhouse still in possession. So it is Cavaliers 1, Waterhouse nil. Remember, Waterhouse playing with 10 men since the, 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 the 23rd minute. I mean, but Waterhouse with the 10 men piling on the pressure. Here's Richard Thomas. To Wilson. Anderson for Cavaliers. Doxley. This looks like Christopher Ainsworth, the youngster who just came on. Oh, Dilly Dalin runs out of real estate. Spot kick. Oh, it's 26. That 26 is 26 is Howell. One nil in favor of. Cavaliers free kick right now for Waterhouse for the foul on Colorado Murray. I think there a little panic is creeping into this what a Cavaliers team. I think you can see that they are young and not used to this kind of a thing. And as the pressure builds, you see careless mistakes. Bins with the free kick. Here is Stewart having a brilliant game since coming on. And that's a corner kick. That's a corner kick. Could we see drama? Three minutes to go. Could there be drama? Could be there. Oh, could there be some drama? Oh, head on goal over the top. Jaden White with another brilliant save. Colorado Murray. Flicking that one on with the head. Oh my word. Jaden White making two brilliant saves to keep Cavaliers into this one. Waterhouse piling on the pressure. And the, the, the Cavaliers team seems to be panicking under pressure right now. Waterhouse still in possession. Oh, ball knocked back into the box. Oh, Waterhouse really looking well. This is valid. Where was this all along? Oh, head up. Corner kick, it seems. Yes, corner kick again. For Waterhouse. Could they muster up something? Less than uh, uh, two minutes to go. Could this be a penalty? Oh, my word. Oh, this, that. Oh, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Penalty for Waterhouse. Oh, my word. Wow. Penalty for Waterhouse. Drama, drama, drama. You can see how distraught this Cavaliers team is. 96th minute, 96th minute, and they have conceded a stupid penalty. Player saying, I mean, saying, oh, he did, he did lean into that one. One of the more experienced players. He leaned into that one. This, this is a captain. There's no way you can lean into that one, Mr. Simpson. That's a clear penalty. That one was going out. It's a penalty, and Mr. Speed with his arms full. 
He's looking somewhere. He's looking to the heavens. Seems like he's trying to call Jesus on the telephone. And this is Benz. He really misses. Oh my word. People, we have waited so long for the drama. And here we go. Penalty. And um, Jaden White having some crystal fluid right now. Don't know what he's about to muster. Fresh God is way ahead. So, people, I don't see it yet, but Bins is about to take this penalty. And, um, Crystal, you have, you have seen the penalty already? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just had to, I had to like turn down my, oh, wow. So close. So close. Just like that, we're going through to extra time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, brilliant penalty. And it is extra time. People, this is unbelievable. The game is over. We go into extra time. The last kick of the game. I told you that one of the things with youth is concentration. A just careless play. Cavaliers stop playing. And people, when Mr. Speed comes on the stream, we need to beat him. <laughs> right? This, I mean, would coach Theodore Whitmore tell his team to do such things? You're playing against 10 men? For 73 minutes? Come on. Mr. Speed is pacing. He's pacing the entire stadium. Ah, yes, Coach Minzy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he leaned into that. There's no way that he should have leaned in. The ball was going out. The last kick of the game, extra time looms. Did anybody predict penalty? Did anybody predict penalty? I mean, penalty is just evil. It's just such an evil way <laughs> to win things. Especially if you've been down to 10 men and for you to come oh, back so with long. a penalty. Yeah. And then to go on to winning it through penalties, just, it's cruel. Yeah. It's a yeah. cruel, but football can be like that sometimes. And you know what? Cavaliers have taken off. They're, they're better attacking players. Dwayne Atkinson is off. So there's three attackers are off. Dwayne Atkinson is off. Shanil Thomas is off. And, and, and Webster is off. Those are their three attacking players. Which is suggesting that they were planning on seeing out the game. Now you have 30 minutes. 30 minutes. That just came down to individual error as opposed to Mr. Speed not being able to control the game because as you quite rightly put it, they've taken off their attack. So it just goes yeah. to show that they're trying to shut up shop. But yeah, that was a massive error from them. Yeah, who do you blame people? Did the coach get it wrong? Are the players not able to concentrate? Yeah, the 25 for Waterhouse. Um, and it, are you sure it's 25 or 26? <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Coach Vinzy, Coach Vinzy, I want you to leave. I want you to leave. I'm telling you, Lord, you know. <laughs> What's he saying now? What's the, <laughs> see, I, I told him I'm going to leave him alone. And now, look, see how he likes to pick on me. What did he say? Yeah, Simpson did money. He said, <laughs> says your fault. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's see. Is there, is there a number 25 out here for Cavaliers for real? 
Let me um look back. Um, not unless they let me look back at let something. Me, yeah, trying to get this the starting this the squad to see. Um what was the question? Um, no, somebody's suggesting that the 25, number 25, I think he's speaking 26 is Ramon Howell, but he keeps that they keep saying it's a number 25. I don't think um Cavalier have a number 25. No, man, not Cavalier, it's Waterhouse. So let me oh, look at this. What? Okay, I'm going okay. to look at the lineup and see um, who is 25. There is, there, is no, there is no 25. I think he's talking 26. I think you're talking 26, man. Oh, he's a CDM for Waterhouse. Yeah, it is a 26. This is Howell. Um, Ramon Howell. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we, we spoke about him during the break. I'm saying that he's a brother of Malik Howell. Um, yeah, he's 26 years old. Born the 14th of the 4th. Um, yeah, 1995. So he turned 26. I I think he... Listen. Like, I don't want to get into the national team. But this player could have been in the team over Aka. He's a good player. He has been the most... He has played every game for Waterhouse. Yeah, man. He has played every game for Waterhouse. His name is Ramon Howell. He's 25 years old. Um, former JC player. Yeah. So, people, extra time. I don't know how this is going to work. I, I, I believe they're going to have to cut the extra time Talawa because mm -hmm. there's no light at the field. So maybe they could do um ten maybe they're going to do 10, 10 minutes of extra time. Yeah, yeah, so half it. Yeah, because what happened is that the game should have started at 2 30, but because the other game went into it went to penalties. Right, shootout, into penalties, it? right. And then they had the weather break as well. But mm -hmm. extra time has started, people. Yeah. Um, whoa. Chris Lynch, you got the score wrong. <laughs> you got the score wrong. So tell her you're going to you, you, you're going to push back your show, right? Are you going to push for the show? Yeah, I don't yeah. mind. It, it is what it is. We're working okay. with them at the moment, so can't okay. make them even before they do their thing. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Coach, I'm watching. I'm watching Mannings on my TV, and I'm watching the game on my laptop. So that's why I keep looking like off screen. So you guys are my distraction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Waterhouse has certainly looked better. I think Cavaliers has lost the plot. I think they approached the game. Once they scored, Waterhouse went down to 10 men. They stopped playing. And you know, I, I think you know you, you have to you have to you have to you know like how David and Goliath after mm -hmm. he knocked David after got David not go like down with the stone, he still went and cut off his head. You understand? <laughs> when when the opponent is down, you have to keep them down. And they yep. open the door and they just never killed off the game. They never killed off the game. <laughs> Bridget. The, you, you don't realize it's a different spot. There's a different spot, man. The, the big back, the big, the, the big back there, over, over that side, down that side. There's a different spot, man. We, we don't want that. It, it, it's antique, you know. We just have it as antique, you know, because we know 20 years, 30 years from now, we have going to show grandkids and great grandson. This is what TVs used to be like when we were boys. You understand me? Because they probably, I got they probably you're not going to see TV anymore. So you have to keep some of these things. <laughs> I'm in your hands, man. Is man, commentate is being fun listening. 
All right, so Tiddly Wings um, said he lost the feed. Um, so there seem, there's a Cavaliers player down. Uh, free kick has been given to to Cavaliers. Uh, fall by Kimani Campbell, a youngster who has looked well. Yeah. Fall on the... the, the uh, Ainsworth, the youngster who came on. I think the referee has managed the game well so far. Referee Nation. People, if you have not yet, please like the stream. Like the stream. If you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. So it is 1 1 in the first, first half of, addition, of, of extra time. Free kick for Cavaliers. Floated into the box, headed out by the Waterhouse defense. Topi plays to King. King back to Ainsworth. And Ainsworth playing it to Simpson. Simpson to Ainsworth. Ainsworth uh, trying to kick that one in. Blocked by the Waterhouse defense. Waterhouse in, in possession. Launching an attack. There you go. Uh, beating one. Here is Marsh. Marsh. Uh, number Oh, plotting over this one beautifully. Uh, plays it back inside. Oh, giving away though and... Cavaliers in possession. Here is Simpson who came and gave away that penalty. Oh, that was a good pass for Colin Anderson who just took his eyes off the ball and he lost it. Uh, here we go again. Um, this is Bins just easily controlling this place to Howell in the center of the park who goes out right to find Thomas. Thomas playing it further wide, wide losing it, but Cavaliers in possession coming forward. Here is, oh, that was... Oh, Purcell losing that one. Uh, Richard Thomas coming forward, playing this one over the top to Shaquille Bradford. Uh, here he goes, taking on Jamai Topi. Oh! Brilliant play, but good covering there by Richard King. Get past the first defender, but Richard King was there doing the mop-up jobs and um, scores still 1-1. One, one. <laughs> no man, hundred, hundred is a hundred, hundred. Yeah. Oh, shot this time with the oh toe poke that by Howell. Listen, listen. This guy Howell needs to be. I don't know. I don't know who is in charge of the selection of the national team. This youth should have been calling you know, over Ricardo Morris. This youth. Honestly, this youth, I don't know. Maybe they have called him into the team, but he's a very good footballer. Switch to CVM because this stream is slow. All right, CVM. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm at CVM. Spot kick here for Waterhouse. Um, this looks like Beans to take this one. <laughs> coach, I coach Beans. Coach Beans, yes, you're nice. It is to be in the, in the comment section. That is step over. <laughs> All right. Um. I, I'm telling you, the immaturity of the Cavaliers players can be seen. Here is Howell again. Easily just, he has dominated midfield today. Completely dominated. He has been the maestro in the midfield. Uh, but um, length here for uh, Cavaliers playing it to Murray. Murray back to length. Length all the way back to King. King. King here. Um, just, just coming forward. Welcome, Mr. Porter. My name's man. How you doing? Hi, Crystal. Yeah, man. You watching the game? Are you? It look like you're driving. I was. I was watching it. Wait, hold on. I was watching it, and it was the 90th minute. Is it extra time now? Yeah, extra time. So who scored for Waterhouse? Ah, uh, Damian Bean scored a penalty. Oh, they get a penalty. Oh, yeah. so the captain. The ca oh, okay. Yeah. Happy Saturday, Coach. Thanks, Crystal. Same to you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually um, going to a squad game. I 
I had a I had a game with the senior team last night and we won in emphatic style. You know, the result was 4-1 and we're second in the table, the top two um goes to the playoffs. So best of luck. Yes, I'm happy where we are with four rounds of game um left to play. Yeah. We we are sitting pretty because the next team um is about five points off the drift of us and we are in second. Almost home then? Oh yes, almost, yeah. Listen, I, I, I must I must comment. Sometimes when teams <laughs> when team when, when teams lose the blame, we blame coaches, right? But I think this Waterhouse coach, Maurice Gale, has done a very good job. He has outsmarted, out tactic, out coach Rudolf Speed with ten men. I mean, for him to have kept his team um in the game, had them high press in the second half. They are looking better. This is this is ten men playing against eleven, and they are looking better, even in extra time. It is it is good. Um, really pressing this um, Cavaliers team. Coach, who do you support again? Uh, Cavaliers. I I I go for Cavaliers to win this one. <laughs> who, what What about in the Premier League? What Premier League team do you support? The English Premier League. Yeah, I'm all blues. I'm all blues. Your Chelsea? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well then, <laughs> Coach Minzy, there's your answer, okay? Because he says I'm only nice to you because you're an elder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, has really worked hard. I mean, if I were going to pick a man of the match. I would give it to Ramon Howell, just based on Jaden White has had a good game. He has made some good saves, but I'd give it to Ramon Howell so far. He has been the standout player um, so far, and so it is. It is uh, still um, one-one um, free kick for Cavaliers at the edge of the 18. Played out wide to the right to Topi. Topi uh, played it inside. Here is Simpson chipping this one over the top, headed out by the Waterhouse defense. Will it go for a corner? No, collected by the goalkeeper, but a free kick has been given in favor of Waterhouse. So we have around four minutes before uh, this first half of extra time uh, comes to an end. Uh, here we go, Waterhouse in possession again. Surrounded by Cavaliers player Waterhouse. Oh, good ball played down the flank. Uh, will he be able to get it? He does. Uh, what will he do? He wins a corner. Very good play by Thomas. This Waterhouse team, you can see that they're a well-coached team. And um, and they are well-conditioned. Um, they have run, I mean, very hard. And, 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 and against a, young girl, a younger Cavaliers team. So corner kick for Waterhouse in the... In the 102nd minute of the game you call it the 14th minute of additional time corner kick for waterhouse can they make something of this kick floated into the box headed by marsh oh oh could he get a shot no wonderful defending by purcell um again waterhouse in possession A good pressing by Anderson played all the way back to Nash in the Waterhouse goal who goes long right into the center of the park to Howell. Howell uh, standing strong on this one, keeping possession of it, you know, playing as well as usual. Very easy, calm and composed on the ball. Ball played up long, headed out by the Cavaliers defense. Here is Stewart. Stewart just just uh uh Stuart just running rings around the, the, the oh running rings around around the, the, the Cavaliers defense. Still Stuart a poor play that by Richard Thomas giving the ball away. Um just, you know booting that one into the air. Uh throwing for the Waterhouse team. Right on the half line. Here is Stuart. To Tom Stewart again. Uh, they, 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 they just can't dispossess him. Cavaliers. Good ball to 
the speed, try the speed, the Anderson to tra just trace and he applies some pressure. It goes out, uh, off, bends, and it is a corner kick for Cavaliers. They scored from a corner. Could they make something of this as we come to the close of the first half of additional time? Yes, yeah, man. The yeah, what else? They definitely not playing like they have 10 men. And then you know that um this guy, he is the man of the match. Corner kick taken, cleared by the Waterhouse defense. Nicochet Murray. Oh, good, good pass there. A uh, good defending by Richard Thomas. Oh, this could be a card. This could be a card. Foul on Wilson. Yellow card to Anderson, who came on. Colin Anderson, yellow card is there for a rush, tackle, or push on Wilson of Waterhouse. I think he must have thought it was a supermarket trolley on this Saturday. <laughs> Just run him down the aisle. <laughs> Beautiful pass with outside of the the foot right there. All the way to Bradford. Bradford. Uh, plot. Oh, ball inside. Oh, my word. What a chance. Here is Marsh. Oh, they can. Stewart. Shot a goal. Deflecting over the top. I'm telling you, this Waterhouse team looks like they want to win this before it gets the penalty. They are looking better. They are playing better. This Cavaliers team, the immaturity showing. Jamai Topi. Hands on waist. Uh, King. Lang. Hands on waist. King. They are they're tired. They have 11 players, but they look tired. Though they have made some substitution. Pressure, pressure. Corner kick for Waterhouse. Which Ricardo Thomas. Headed out by the Cavaliers defense. And it is the end of the first half. I think at this point you've you've surely got a fancy um going to penalties. Yep. You know what? Um, you know, this is a very good question. I think this guy, Marcel Gill, should be given one of the junior teams to coach. That's my opinion, people. I don't know if I'd give him a national team right now. I'd probably put him with an under-20 20 team, see how he does. And if he does well, I would move him up to the senior team. I'd love to see him with some players who respect him to see what he would get out of them. What are your thoughts? Yeah, man. Yes, Coach Minzy, it is the same Chevron Stewart who used to play for um, St. George's. Yeah. I think before we do any of that in terms of our managerial appointment at the um, youth level, we just have to sort out our house because at the moment everything is just rotten from top to bottom. Yeah. And I worry for someone like that who has great respect. Yeah, it's a Right. And then you go into the national setup and, you know, things aren't as organized. It's a completely different environment. You're kind of like out your depth because of the lack of um, professionalism around him. Then what happens after that is people start, people start to question his managerial um, ability. Right. So I think before we even look at anything like that, we just need to like sort out our house. Because like I said before, um, we're rotten from top to bottom. So. There's loads of work that needs to be done. Um, and one way of starting off that work is to look at the grassroots, you know, football at grassroots level. That's always been an area that needs addressing. And yeah, so we need it's to just very... get the basics right before we can even think or dream of touching locally based um, managers and head coaches. That's a very important point. You're absolutely right. Um, that that Maybe that needs to happen. They need to really fix the systems and structures because you take a coach like this you put him in a toxic structure it could destroy his coaching pedigree i think that's yeah. a very good point yeah and you know what you know what our fan base is like like we're so impatient we are so impatient and i worry that's why when people are like give up some of the locally based managers or head coaches a chance i'm like no 
it's a problem. Like we have to sort out our house before we even dream of touching those guys. So that's my personal opinion. Though it'll be interesting to see what yourself and coach and you know people like Minzies and the rest of the guys in the comment section um think. Yeah, I think you make a very valid point. I agree with that. Listen, it is true. If, if people, if you want to know what house play, think about how St. George's plays because this is a guy who works with Neville Bell. It's the same way they play. Right? Like I said, they played with 10 men and if you didn't know that, you would not know because they, they, have, they have really dominated Cavaliers. I can't wait for the show with Mr. Speed to hear what he has to say about this. Um, are they asking you to come and run for the president of the JFF? <laughs> but... But man is man, when I was watching the game up to the, the 90th minute, um, I think Cavalier has a good first half. They came out uh, a little bit flat and unorganized in the second half. Um, Waterhouse was spreading the ball a lot and um, attacking them, and they lost their shape a little bit. I, I don't know if it's... Um, Tactical, it can be the 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 um I mean, they don't understand how how to stay organized. They all over the place and chasing the ball. Yeah. Oh, you're breaking up, Mister Porter. Coach Devon, you're breaking up. Yeah. This is true. So this the is best true. bet is 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 when you're in a game situation and the other team comes out firing, all you got to do is stay organized and stay true to what you believe in. Don't try chasing the ball and all over the place. That's why I, I tell you something. If you look at Tapa's team, when Tapa team is playing and playing a team that play expansive football like the Mexicans and he drops into a low if you start you know and I will take my team that creates a lot and and but they're organized defensively and it's 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 puzzling how a player of his nature um adapt this um this style yeah yeah you're absolutely right you're absolutely right you're absolutely right i i don't know but i um i like this that the, the guy named stuart i agree with you ian or is lee i think i don't know if it's an l or i yeah but i agree with you that he came on and changed the game um you know but he is he's slow but he has good football iq uh management school by football is in jamaica yeah in development Go ahead, go ahead, not Mr. only Porter. that, I, I saw when he put Colorado Murray in, and I said yeah. he's going for experience now, you know, and yeah. it, it, he steadies he steadies the game a lot, uh, Murray, because his presence alone on the field drives fear into into people, you know, and I I I think I think Gail probably um doing a fantastic job with with his players. But I, I am hoping that um, Cavaliers, just for Rudolph's sake, I mean, he has been in, in football for so long, and this is the, the, the highest level in, in locally. And I would like him to, to win the trophy. What huh? I was about to make two substitutions here. Let's see who's coming on. I think this is one of the 15 years old. Andre Leslie is coming on. Oh, Colorado Murray has been substituted. This could be a move for penalty, or is it some injury? I see he was holding it. Probably, it it wouldn't be like... it wouldn't be a move for penalty because Colorado Murray is one of the best like goal scorers. It's a hamstring. And yeah. then Devon Dunkley is coming on for Ricardo Thomas. This must be. This so it's an be... injury change. Well, I I am wondering if it's an injury change. DeAndre Thomas is off, and Colorado Murray who, Murray, who came on, has been. I know Andre Leslie has always taken penalties for them. Oh, okay. So, uh, but Murray, uh, Murray was holding his hamstring. I mean, he seems to be walking with a limp. 
so he could be injured. I think it's a, a substitution because of injury. Okay. Um, wasn't he the number one striker anyway? You know, he has never done injury, has always affected him. He was the number one striker when he was at Tivoli, you know. He was a top striker in the league. Yeah, so Tivoli, he, he was a starter. Right, but he was a starter so, for Waterhouse, um, a couple, but he got injured. Oh, so he probably uh, carrying some niggling injuries and now it's affecting no, him. No, well, this season, no man, this season he hasn't scored, I think he has only scored two goals. The top striker for them this year has been um, Shaquille Bradford, the youngster who was at um, Camperdown. Oh, that kid that I heard the talk, yeah. Yeah, very good. Very speedy, uses both feet, um, good with his head as well. Okay. But I think Rudolph Speed got his his um his tactics wrong today. Yeah. In, unseen. in terms, in Listen, terms unseen. of you, I, you know I, you know what I realize the supporter because sometimes people talk about what schoolboy football is doing, and I'm not going to discount that, but let me tell you this. You know that mm -hmm. most of the players who are stand out in schoolboy football started playing like in the Kasafa competitions for, for their community clubs, like you'll see you playing for the Boys Town or the Mullines or the Cavaliers, the same. Those clubs had them. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the smaller it, it, clubs, the smaller clubs always have the standouts. And then and then all of a sudden everybody sees them and everybody wants them. That's how it always end up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, let me look. Let me take. Let me, let me look at Richard's comment right here. Crystal, you want to read that one for me? See, we can understand them. You know, <laughs> <laughs> what else on the attack? Here is Andre Leslie. Um, to here, Kimani Campbell, Leslie again. Uh, if he just went down, he could have won a free kick, but he didn't. Cavaliers trying to play long balls, trying to find Colin Anderson. Yeah, so it is it is still 1-1. One, one. I have around seven minutes before we head into the dreaded penalty shootout. Let's see what's going to happen. Cavaliers in possession. I mean, you can see they're not playing with any energy, any life. They're not... Yeah, they're playing like a team that has been defeated, though the game is still going on. And you can tell that this is where you need you need a little bit of experience. You need older heads out there. What a brilliant pass. Oh, but it, oh my word! If that had gone in, that goalkeeper would have had to migrate. <laughs> He could not stay nowhere close to Jerusalem. If that, that, was, <laughs> that was almost a free goal. <laughs> it's, foot, it's football. It does happen. <laughs> Jesus. It does happen. Yes, God is on his side with that one. I am. I am. I am telling you. <laughs> Anyway, gentle people, I am driving inside the stadium now, so I gotta get these boys ready and organized. Good luck, so, um, Thank you. It's just a it's just a squad game. We're playing um the U twenty ones and the the U um eighteens. Okay. You know we we're gonna put them in uh because they have been idle. Um, this week, there is no game for them this week, so I don't want them to go through the whole week without even playing a game. So that's the reason why we're doing this. Anyway, guys, I, I'll, I'll talk to you guys yeah, later. Man. Crystal, will you be on coaches this later? No, Crystal, I'm sure right after the game, you know, on Talawa TV. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, enjoy. Coach, coach, coach doesn't give me invites no more, coach. Ah, yeah, you're not coach, Vinzy. <laughs> Listen, Crystal, you don't have to get an invitation to coach's desk. You are family and you are welcome anytime. <laughs> Understood. 
<laughs> take care. All right. Take care. Good, good. Yeah. All right. Mr. Porter, well, we oh, Kawhi Simpson has been substituted as well, so the coach put him on. He must be embarrassed. I mean, people may think about that. Who is wrong? Is it the coach got the change wrong if the coach put on a play and then substitute the player? Did the coach make a mistake or the player not following instruction? All right. So, people. So, it is four minutes before we head into penalty. The Waterhouse keeper is down. Will they substitute him to bring in a keeper who is better able to save penalties? Let us see what is going to happen or will he continue the game? I mean, there are some very strange decisions. You know, a lot of the persons who came into the game, they have been substituted out of the games, out of the game by the coaches. So I'm wondering if they were not following instructions or these are the strategic moves. Throwing for Waterhouse uh, by Cam Campbell, just knocks it forward looking for Leslie. Here is uh, the, the substitute. Uh, who is this? Chevron Stewart, looking really well since coming on onto the field of... Oh, Waterhouse still in possession. Here you go. Here is Stewart again. I mean, they just can't take the ball off these, this guy's feet. But poor pass that time. That's probably his first poor pass. Here is uh, Jamar Purcell playing this one long, looking for the speedy Anderson. Anderson could be breaking away here. Oh, brilliant defending shot and goal. Just over the top. That looked like Maxwell, the former Manchester high player, coming in. You know, hitting that one, but not able to get the body over it. It goes over the top, and that would have posed some challenges. Yes, I think Fresh God got this. He said 1-1 one, one going into penalty. People, it is looking very dark. Will, there be, will, will they be able to take penalties um, when it is this dark? But Waterhouse on the attack, just two minutes to go. Cleared by Purcell in defense. Uh, poor control. Uh, give the ball back to Waterhouse, but one back again and then kicked up field. But it is a free kick, spot kick here for uh, Waterhouse. Um, uh, right on the center circle in the in the Cavaliers half. Um, let's see what they do with this one. Look like they're going to just try and uh, uh, throw it into the box. Here you go. Ball kicked into the box. Headed out by the Waterhouse defense, but there is a fall on the play. Uh, just 90 seconds to go. Will we get a goal? Will it be penalties? I don't know. People, it is looking dark. Will they be able to take penalties in these conditions? It is now uh, a few minutes to six. Let's see what it's going to be like. Ball played long upfield by the Cavaliers team. Uh, a little ping pong playing in the air. Uh, Howell, who has had a stellar game, battling in midfield, loses it to Cavaliers. Cavaliers attacking down the right side, playing the ball inside, right to keep a gnashing goal. And he he runs out. He's at Michael, um, learning teaching. So maybe keeping is not his thing. We will see when it gets to penalties. It is now seconds to go. Uh, make it uh, 35 seconds to go. And Cavaliers are in possession. Looks like we're going to be having penalties, people. Both games today would have ended in penalties. Last attack for Cavaliers. Ball played over the top for the speedy Anderson. Anderson. Anderson in control. Oh, trying to knock that one across. It comes back to him. Anderson still in control. Oh, poor play. And this could be it. Oh, this could be a card. This could that could be a card. We could see another red card here, but referee plays the advantage. Uh uh ball is lost. It is ball knocked forward. 
Game stop. Yellow card being brandished by the referee. Um, it is penalty. Red card. Red card. This could be the captain of Cavaliers has been red carded. Second yellow card. He has been red carded. Oh, my word. It is penalty. And one of the penalty takers for Cavaliers has just been red carded. Oh, I think he's I think he's correcting it. He has just corrected it. He has just corrected it and said that no. Is it? Is he out? Think he I think he was saying he only got one yellow card. And he was brandishing a second yellow card. Oh, it's a yellow card and not a red card. There you go. So the the referee was quick on the <laughs> referee should get no pay. <laughs> we should deduct something from his salary <laughs> for making that blatant, blatant error. So it is going to be penalties. Oh my word. Oh my gosh, it's getting nervy now. Who you back in, my names? You know that tell us though, Rulers Speed and I do the show, you know. I felt like Waterhouse were the better team, had more experience. Mm -hmm. But now it is penalties. I, I don't know. They are don't one of their penalty takers is Nikolai Finlayson, and he's off. They made some changes to bring on players to kick penalty. I don't. I trust Jaden White. Yeah. As a better goalkeeper. But who normally win penalty kick up the kick um shootout? Is it the team with a better goalkeeper or the team with a better penalty takers? If it is a better it's a penalty combination takers, of both, ain't it? Ah. All Confidence. Right, uh, We're talking Maitland Niles ice cold penalties. Yeah, all right. So I am going to go with oh lord, who am I going to go with? I am going to go with I feel like you want to go with Waterhouse. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm, go with Cavalier. Yeah, I'm going to go with Waterhouse. I'm going to okay. go with Waterhouse because I, I mean having played with 10 men for so long, yeah. Yeah, I think they have done well enough to get something out of the game. So I'm going to go with Okay, I'm going to go with, yeah. I'll lean on Cavalier because they're seeking history, um, youngest team. So they're trying to yeah. create a bit of history for themselves. So I'll go with the youth and support them. J. Ross, the game is on CVM, it's on Sportsmax, or you can sign up to that free link and you can watch the game um, on that. All right, so there's a couple of places that you can watch it on. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, it is penalties. They call it the dreaded penalties. Hold oh, on, I don't like I don't like to watch. But the time is dark. I'm wondering, look like they're still going to kick the penalties. They have to, surely. Yeah? <laughs> they have to take the penalties. Oh, Lord. People, I mean, if they have the, to get their flashlights out at this point, you have to go to pens. Yeah, who do who you do you trust in your goal? Jaden White or this goalkeeper Nash? I'm gonna uh, have to go with um uh, Mr. White. I think he's been the goalkeeper <laughs> of the tournament, so I'm going to back him. Surely, goalkeeper <laughs> of the tournament. Um, many so are going yes. to disagree with you, you know, but he has had. You um, don't think he's been the keeper of the tournament? Yeah, I think I think he has had the, the most clean sheets. Yeah, he's, he's, um, he's the keeper of the tournament, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, but Nash looks shaky for real. Yeah, I think it was um coach that said that, um, didn't he? said that um Nash is looking a bit shaky. Yeah. Good save. Fresh God, you can't tell us the thing before it happened, Fresh God. Fresh God, what's he doing, Fresh God? Fresh God, what's he doing? I'm going to mute you guys and go and watch the, the penalties. I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh Lord. Jaden White is in goal for the first penalty. So what else is going to kick first? The goalkeepers are having a conversation. It's like they are saying, you dive to the right and I will dive to the left. But it is Damian Bin. Damian Bin scored, as you know. He was the one who scored 
in the first minute of the game. Well, in the last minute of the game to um, send the game into extra time. Will he go? I always believe that players who scored at, at that point in the penalty kicks, they should kick last. Because the keeper knows where you went the first time. So let's see what is going to happen. White facing up the bin. Has come up trumps on so many occasions. Poor Cavalier. And even before then, at the school board. Oh, are you serious? To oh my kids. word! Damien Bins, the captain against of Jake Waterhouse. Oh my Ooh. word! Oh my word! He went with the stick to go right. Didn't get as far in the corner as the penalty he scored earlier. Just too close to White. And the mind oh, who is this? Maxwell. Oh, walking away with confidence. He's walking away with such confidence. Oh no, this is this is King. King. Oh, 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 not a good penalty, but it scores. King scores a Cavaliers. Cavaliers take the lead. Oh Lord. <laughs> wow. These are young players, but great penalty by King. Ooh. I think Nash could have done a little better on that one. Here is Shaquille Bradford, one of the best players for Waterhouse all season. These two would have met um, in penalty kick out so, in schoolboy football. Bradford comes up. Oh! That was a scary penalty. But he scores. Oh my God, he scores. Shaquille Bradford scores. Almost. <gasps> in the corner. No. Almost. Well what? taken penalty. White. Sure. Guess white. Yeah, I've always said you aim small, you miss but small. Once you get it, save you not me. Corner, it's always going to be difficult for goalkeepers to get to it. That was well placed, and that's what Bates wanted to do. Damn it. White has to be careful though. On that occasion, he was off his line. And I think when he did stop the penalty against Tivoli, some would have suggested... Jamai Topi! Just have, just off the line, not spotted. But you expect the officials here to be keen on that because that gives the goalkeeper... Here is Topi. ...they would say, an advantage. Well, let's hope that the official referee... ...in the 2019 so, Gold Cup. Jamai Topi from 12 yards... <laughs> Very good. Well taken penalty. Goalkeeper had no chance. Ah. Uh... It's probably more important. Topi against Nash. Oh, no. No, man. That was a good penalty, man. Well placed, man. Come on. That is not lucky, man. Oh, my. That was a good penalty, no. Coach Villa. That was a good penalty. No, man. That was a good penalty. Yeah, difficult. Maybe that should be the That's where you want to place your penalty. Just a foot away from the upright. You get the feeling you're going to get another <laughs> Not necessarily with this game. Oh, okay. Chevron Stewart. Kick many penalties for St. George's College. Always scores. <laughs> oh, brilliantly taken penalty. This guy is used to this kind of a thing. Chevron Stewart is still a big baller, people. <laughs> Well taken oh, penalty. Leave <laughs> me alone. Let me be. <laughs> so only one miss so far, Damian Bin. The time is getting dark. If I were Waterhouse, I'd ask for the rest of this to finish the next day. <laughs> oh, this is a man from St. Lucia. This is the St. Lucian. Doxley is his name. Let's see what he will do. Doxley. St. Lucian. Oh, well, I, it's a good thing the keeper did not touch that one. Because he'd probably end up in a hospital somewhere. <laughs> and, and Rudolf Speed is laughing. <laughs> 
it's a good thing the keeper didn't touch that one. I am telling you, that, that is how a penalty is supposed to be taken. That's how you take a penalty. The goalkeeper had no chance, though he went to the right position. Here is one of the players who was substituted. And, well, he, he came on, and I think that was for the purpose of taking penalties. So, you know, he is a regular. Andre Leslie is his name. Good penalty. And I think that is why the coach brought him on because he is he's a designated penalty taker. Jaden White, guessing right, but had no chance of saving that. Well placed. That's, that's where you put the penalty. Low, underground, hard, in the corner. Very good penalty. Oh, this is Maxwell. This is the next player who they said was going to be the next big thing in Jamaica. Formerly of Manchester High School. What can he do? Referee, the, the, the goalkeeper trying some antics here. Here we go, Maxwell comes, kicks for Cavalier. Oh, no. Oh, I, I tell you, this keeper, this keeper not impressive at all. This keeper not impressive. This keeper is not impressive. I, I think that penalty was at the right height to be saved. I think that penalty should have been saved. It was at the right height. It wasn't. You know, right at that height where you can dive and touch it. Oh, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like left-footed players. Is it? I don't like what players who use, oh, this, this could be problem for Waterhouse. He's, 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 people, he's worried. He's worried. Good penalty. Oh, he scores. Send Jaden White in the wrong direction. Oh. All right, so Nash need to pull off a save. Nash needs to pull off a save. For Waterhouse to stand a chance. And who is this? Oh, this is Leng. Oh my word. This is a pressure kick. I see the Cavaliers players jumping. They are prancing. Nash in the goal bouncing. Leng with the penalty. Oh, it is saved! Oh my word! Oh no! And Rudolph Speed with hands and Kimbo! Oh, what a save! <laughs> this is exciting! And he is crying. He is devastated. And the shaky one has pulled off a fantastic save. The Waterhouse bench is excited again. Coach Maurice Gale, everybody's excited. This is... Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, who is this? Oh, no, Kimani Campbell. Kimani Campbell. Why is he kicking? What about Howell? What is Kimani Campbell doing? Have they given it away? Oh, White saves it. Oh, my word. Yes, Jaden White is bringing himself into contention for a spot in the Reggae Boys team. Penalty saved by Jaden White. He did this in schoolboy football for stats on several occasions. Campbell never give a left-footed player a penalty. Not a good idea. Never give a left-footed player a penalty. Not a good... I'm telling you, I can't believe this. Why did they give him? What about Ramon Howell? What about Howell? I don't believe this. Mm. 
There you go, people. <laughs> Cavaliers has won. The trophy goes to Cavaliers. After 41 years, Cavaliers have won the league. What a game it is. People, oh my word. Oh my word. The wow. Game is over. Congratulations to the young Cavaliers team. Um, I can't believe it. I think the coach made a bad decision. How well should have kicked, man? Why did you bring on that other person and don't let them kick? I don't understand. I don't, un I don't understand. I don't understand coach's decision sometimes. Oh, boy. I don't know. Listen, but people, listen, I want to thank you for all staying with me for so long. This is three hours and 40 minutes. And we are going to close it out for the presentation and all of that. Well done, Waterhouse. Um, well done. Congratulations to Cavaliers. Right. Um, good game. Uh, we saw one half controlled by one team, the second half controlled by the other team. They're going to have big presentation. You can stay and watch that. But here's what I want to do for me. I want to do a couple of things, right? Um, tell our TV, she starts in like, in like 10 minutes. You, you need to jump on over there. Tell her, I want to tell him that. There's Please also, come over. Yeah, you have to come Manning's over. is going to be there and also Ryan as well. Yeah, so talk, Ryan to talk season. about the game. Please yeah, man, to talk about the game that just played. All right. Then you mm -hmm. have a couple other things, right? You need to check out Sports Frenzy. They have a show that comes on this evening talking about the NFL. Check them out. Like and subscribe. All what right? time does what time? Sorry to interrupt you. What time does Minzy's show start? Is Coach Min, and then you have Coach's desk. Coach Minzy. Tell her I want to jump onto her thing. So she's going to send you the link. Um, because she knows that she's not going to be long. She's probably going to be 30 or so minutes or 45 minutes at most. So you yeah, can jump I'm over and, 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 and support her. She's going to send you the link, Coach Minzy. Right? And then Coach Minzy has his show um, later this evening as well. So people, support support the rest of vloggers. Thank you so, so much, all of you, for tuning in. First time, and I feel good that we did this. That for the first time, we had a, a watch along for a JPL game. It, it wasn't bad. You understand me? The first time at it, and it was good. So maybe we can do it again. So big up, respect one and all. Listen, please, before you leave, hit the like button. If you have not yet, please, 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 subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah, man, Tapa is there. You didn't see Tapa, Tapa is there. Craig Butler is there, but they are in two different sections. <laughs> and the president of the JFF is there, but they are in different, different sections. And they say, you know what I mean? Yeah, but people, the people, them, the people now bust out them flashlight. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for watching. So, everyone, much peace, blessings. I hope, tell me if you enjoy the watch along, you know. Do something in the comment section so we know if we must do this again or if it is a waste of time to the watch along to local football. I enjoyed it, so let me know what you think. Right now, all you have to do, close out the stream right now and go to Talawa TV. She's going to go live and I'll be over there in like five minutes to, to, to join you. Big up, big up, big up, big up every single one. And tomorrow, we have a big one for you. And every Sunday, we have a big, 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 big one for you. Sunday, we have some big things to bust. You understand me? No more red flags. We have a different cannon where you go fire from. All right. Blessings, one and all. Yeah, man. Appreciate the love and support. Christos, thank you for coming on. Um, really appreciate it. So I will see you in a jiffy. Just like a refresh My pleasure. Self. Yeah, and, and put on some makeup so we can look better for your show. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Yeah, man. All right. Blessings, one and all.